And we're live. God, that was timed so perfectly. It was. Yay! How perfect was that? Hello, everyone. Welcome to another show about awesome things. Yes, wait, is that, is that going to stay on your head? Because see, earlier I had this problem where I was trying to figure out if I could put the bowler hat on top of the headphones or if I needed to put the bowler hat on first and then the headphones, but yeah. you don't have that option because top hats. I did wig, headphones, top hat. Okay. Right now it's doing should we, well. Should we tell people why we're wearing headgear? Oh yeah, that's a good... <laughs> Except Jesse, because he... Oh god! Yeah, I knew it was gonna <laughs> happen! I knew it! Jesse doesn't like fun. Jesse doesn't like fun. He hates fun. <laughs> <laughs> Just no words. No words, uh, just anyway. emotions. We all know the emotion. We do. <laughs> it's, it's because it's episode 50 of the TGS, TGS podcast. podcast. Number Yay. 50. Woo. Woo. With special guest pro Jared. Woo. Woo. Hello. And we were instructed to wear special hats and or wigs for the 50th episode. And it mm. turns out I don't own a nice hat, so I got a headband. I mean, <laughs> but that's do you own a wig? Mean. This is important. At least some of us put in effort, Jesse. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I can't argue with that. I, I did not. No effort was put in. I was Zero wondering effort. if you were going to stay silent during this podcast for like as long as possible. Like I keep can, almost saying something and then just pulling I, back. No, I don't, I don't want that. No. Oh, fine. Now we just get to do voices for Jesse because Jesse won't talk. Sounds good, everyone. My name's Jesse Cox, and I'm here today talking to everyone on the podcast. I was just at PAX East. It was a great old time. I saw everybody, and I saw my fans. They're all douchebags. I hate all of you. You suck. Ha ha. Watch my videos because they're funny. Ha 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 ha. Wow, that was really convincing. Uh, yeah, that was very good. Yeah, I'm impressed. I yeah. mean, if I were watching for the first time, I would totally go check out youtube.com slash Jesse Cox. I would too. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, he hates all of you, yet he, he loves you. Obvious, I mean, he hates you, but loves your views, and at least he's honest about that. Oh, what's wrong with hating your fans? They don't <laughs> suck. <laughs> up. <laughs> up. Jesse, Yay, why... friendship! <laughs> Jesse, why are you holding up your IQ? I told you that joke <laughs> that I got from my dad. <laughs> don't pretend. <laughs> don't pretend. <laughs> My father has a very good one line that he does whenever, whenever someone gets mad at him and flips him off, he goes, what is that? Your IQ? And I'm like, oh, father, you're just trying to start a fight, aren't you? Such a good line, though. It's true. So, he told me that I in the car. The, yeah. And now I use it. I stole it. He used it on me. <laughs> he turned it around on me. It's, it's like... a betrayal of trust, mister. <laughs> it's a betrayal of trust. All falling apart. Wait, it's can I ask apart. a question? Okay. I know that this is off topic, but why have there been no more than one animation on youtube.com slash Cox and Crender? Why they should totally go today and look. I'm looking at both of you because <laughs> I want more of them. Oh, I would say yeah. today is going to be a great one. It's about my favorite word. Ant Antacetamophotophen. <laughs> Wonderful. If you don't know what that word is, you should watch the video that we're going to upload today. YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor. Cox and Loren and then Crendor, and it's grand old time. Wait, YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor? Yep. <laughs> Wait, okay. okay. YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor? <laughs> well, yes. Yes, wow. indeed. A graphic comes across the screen. <laughs> yeah, totally guys, like... guys. Crendor had this prepared the whole time. <laughs> I wish I was talented <laughs> enough to actually do that. That'd be cool. He's He's not. I feel it's like true. your wig is starting to take a toll. It is. I mean, I've had it for so long pretending to be you. I, I mean, know. You look, like a, you look like a washed up old French boar. <laughs> You're My looking friend. more and more like me every time you wear it, I think. I would have gone French rock star <laughs> myself, but ah. I was more close enough. No matter <laughs> what, his name is Boom Boom LaRue. That's it. I I like Boom, Boom Boom LaRue. If I add the top hat, I'm practically like, a, and I am a wash. Axel rock Rose, star. you're Axel Rose right now. Oh my yeah. god. Now he looks just like Dodger. Which one's the real one? Which one do I shoot? Oh no! Oh no! I like coffee! Cut the baby in half! 
I like coffee. Uh, the podcast. It's me, me too. Uh, Mine is shaped like a fox. I'm obviously the real one. It's it's a trick. She's trying to be like a fox because she's not the real one. <laughs> I say we shoot both of them and call it a day. <laughs> anyway. Really, it's for the best. Anyway. Mm. The world's interest. Uh, welcome to episode 50 where it's still not the greatest show on the internet by far. <laughs> And it is a show. We can't confirm that. Show. It is a that show. Happens. It is a show on the internet. Actually, One someone look up. Sometimes. Someone look up the definition of show and clarify that, because we may not be a show. Never mind. I'm not actually going to do that. <laughs> someone will. So, uh, someone in the world. What? Anyway, I'm Wild Crendor slash Total Biscuit slash slash Dodger today. So. I'm like it's from I'm like, a lab where they spliced all of our genes together. Yep, it's where they created it, Megazord. Well, I'm sorry, what? It's where they created Megazord. What? Same lab, yeah. Yeah. It's isn't, the same one. Isn't Megazord what happens when the Power Rangers come together? Yeah. They have a genetics department and a robotics department. They I don't think <laughs> robots and genetics are the same. Why don't you think that? Cause These are your hard bond dollars at work. <laughs> yeah. The tax money is going into this for a reason. People got in the Megazord. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's not the same thing as splicing genes. That's just people riding inside robots. How do you know it's the all robots? It's science. Yeah, it's Fine, science. Voltron, would that make you happy? No, it's... <laughs> what? No! It's the exact same thing! What the shit? No! No, stop it! How do you know <laughs> that do robots don't have DNA? Yeah. Especially robots oh, that join together. Yeah, what if they have feelings? What if they're actually people? You wait. You ready for this? I got a good one. I'm ready. The robots only DNA inside a robot are going to be the sex bots. Think about it. Uh oh. Think about Thinking it about for it. a minute. Think about <laughs> it. You know, about what it. I'm you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Think, yeah, think yeah of, think oh, of the, there, you know what I'm saying? I'm imagining all of it. Thank you. <laughs> uh -huh. That's it. Anyway, that's me. You're welcome, Internet. <laughs> that's me. Also, uh, welcome, Dodger. Hi. Welcome to the TGS podcast where we occasionally talk about games. Um, yeah, I'm Dodger, and I'm wearing a bowler hat today because I am not a party pooper. Thank you. The S. More. Total idiots. Oh, you get. No miss. Mm-hmm. Dumbest people who may have ever lived, ever. Jesse, welcome back. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Think about it. DNA inside a robot. Think about it. Think about it. Don't think They're about sex it. Bots. It's not so worth when your Jesse time. Jesse thinks about this every day. Always hitting the hard-hitting issues. Look, I cannot wait for sex robots. I'm going to have like 80 of them things. And just, Especially they'll be all bang. At the podcast panel, we established that one day you will be a robot anyway. Mm -hmm. Right. So. I want to be I want to be that one robot in that AI movie that Jude Law was the, the gigolo bot. <laughs> Hello, ladies. <laughs> I want to satisfy you. What is that movie? Is it Bicentennial Man? The movie about like the robot that wants to be a person. Well, that's just dumb. Robots Isn't like almost like, every robot people movie. Want to be robots? Yeah, but like it's a it's like a four hour movie where he goes through the entire process of slowly becoming people. Wait a minute, I'm looking robots this up. is people. <laughs> that's not he's back robot. becomes people. Sex robot. Yes, sex this is robot. it. Oh my sex god. Robot. Yeah, I'm Robin Williams. Just, oh god. Sex robot. Oh, sex, the one with Robin Williams. I remember uh, that. Sex, yeah, an android endeavors no, to become human no, as sex. he gradually acquires emotions. That's the description. <laughs> sex robot. Sex robot. Sex robot. I'm laying down a track. Help me out. Sex robot. Sex robot. He just wants to Ding. get down. Ding. Sex robot. Ding. Sex robot. Ding. Sex robot. Ding. Sex robot. Alright, we're done. You now have that. a lot to work with, Internet. <laughs> I demand remixes of the second one. <laughs> Pretty good. And that's Jesse Cox. And finally, we have our special guest, Pro Jared. Hello, I'm Pro Jared. I don't have anything interesting to say. Except Can I ask what's behind you on that shelf? Um, my games, most of them. It's all games. Is there a particular one you're looking for? 
Uh, no, also, I can't. A, I couldn't quite because like it almost looked like you had games, but then also records. Oh, <laughs> it was no. like, oh man, this guy is an eclectic whirlwind. But nah, I don't listen to music. Okay, good. Music's for dumb people. Yeah, right. That's yeah, what I always yeah say. dumb dumb. Music <laughs> yeah. for dummies. <laughs> music, music is like the downfall of society. Agreed. It just creates rebels. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's true. It's true. And dancing Speaking is why people are pregnant. our children. What? Speaking of <laughs> downfall of society and music, last yeah. night I turned on the TV and that uh, musical Rock of Ages was on, and I said to myself, "I'll give it five minutes." <laughs> I gave it. I gave it three, and I was like, "Well, this is fun." <laughs> Instant change. You couldn't even give it the full five. That's bad. Uh, there's something about taking already like sort of crappy 80 songs and making them even crappier that I was like, I'm done with, I'm done. <laughs> although, <laughs> although Tom Cruise, he's like 55 years old. I don't know how old that dude is. He is in shape. That guy is buff. He's a rock Tom of the Cruise, ages. Mm. I don't know what's going on with him. He is like, it's that Scientology, man. <laughs> it is. Scientology. <laughs> Aww. Ripped out of their mind. Forever. Uh, Jesse has a Tom Cruise crush. I do. I'm not even going to lie. It's true. Tom Cruise. I'm going to come over with Interview with the Vampire and Popcorn. And no. it's going to be great. He looks, be he looks better now than he did then. Tom Cruise is like reverse aging. He's a Benjamin Button. <laughs> he is invincible. He's the Wolverine. Tom mm -hmm. Cruise is the Wolverine. <laughs> Holy shit. Makes Whoa. sense now. That's why he still has a career. <laughs> he saved so many people's lives, they owe him favors. Whoa. This is Because really, Tom Cruise is just Tom Cruise in all of his movies. No matter what movie he's in, he plays Tom Cruise. What about that new one? We just accept it. The one where it's like, it's after Earth or Jack whatever? Reacher? No, no, Jack Reacher. Jack Reacher is it's Tom Cruise play Tom Cruise as a guy who is named Jack. <laughs> That's all it is. It's Tom <laughs> Holy... I... Thought, I never saw the movie, but the trailers for that movie were always hilarious to me because as a short person, I absolutely loved watching him like try to be intimidating. <laughs> like dudes <laughs> all around him and he's like, you know how to mess with me? I'm gonna mess up your face. And I was like, yeah, Tom Cruise, you're gonna mess him up. And then they'd be like, oh, watch Tom Cruise mess people up. And I was like, yeah, short people. That's they really the only connection just I have. Hold it just out of reach. <laughs> yeah, he's like, no. Get Tom Cruise doing that thing. Uh, is eh. Uh, come this is the worst guys. kind of person uh. fighting dirty. Uh. I just picture you like leading the short people, like for the short people. <laughs> Everyone would be looking past them. <laughs> They're like, wait, where where are they? They're supposed to be. What here. threat? <laughs> <laughs> there's there's an army? And then suddenly everyone gets their Achilles heel slashed. No, oh, you just wait, we'll stack on top of each other. <laughs> it's it's fine. We're gonna turn into Megazord. That's oh, why. Damn. They have genes, and they were developed in the same five, lab that Craig was making. Five little people all combined back to again. make one normal person. <laughs> I, want, I want to see that drawn, just like five little people like making a normal person. We represent the lollipop <laughs> guild. Uh, all right, we're going We're going to talk about video games. Now. Oh, no, I can't. Okay, I did it. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, let's talk about this week, even though this week, was, this week was PAX, but we can talk about PAX stuff. Uh, let's start with Pro Jared, since he's our special guest. Pro Jared, did you go to yeah. PAX, and what did you no, play? No, I did not go to PAX. Oh, well, what did so, you play this week, though? I just killed uh, Monster Hunter. Oh. All Monster Hunter all the time. Oh, damn, all day? Oh, yeah. Uh, last, last I checked on my save file, I have... 104 hours in it and that came out uh, last week Tuesday on the 19th so I've been playing just a crap ton of uh, Monster Hunter ever since I've always been a huge fan of the series like ever since the first PS2 game so I've just been going hard on that what never like what do you do in that game because I never played that game you just you, you monsters, killed giant jackass. monsters <laughs> you like, hunt that's, monsters well yeah is that like all you do you just like run around hunting monsters yeah, it's basically like a series of really awesome boss fights with like no bullcrap in between. Like you don't have to like proceed through a level to get to them. You just or in this area, you're told there's a monster in there, go find it, and then you just hunt it down for the rest of the time. These fights can take up to like 
40, 45 minutes to finally kill, or if you're really good, maybe five to ten, whatever. <laughs> but there's they're giant fire breathing dragons or uh, uh, these like brutal leviathans or underwater creatures and you just constantly go at it and it's just so cool then you kill them and you carve them up and take the pieces back to town and create new weapons and new armor off of that so you're more protected so you can go after the bigger stuff plus and it's just a cycle that kind of keeps going there's little, the little, the little guys who are like chaka, 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 chaka. yeah and you have shakalakas <laughs> that'll dance for you yes them <laughs> <laughs> all that mm-hmm well, isn't that for Wii U now? Isn't that what it came yes, out? Yes, I'm so excited. It just came out on the Wii U and the 3DS, and it's so good. Enjoying the hell out of it. Still not very good for new people, but still a fantastic game. Oh, Word. Wow. What uh, is that? Is that like all you've been playing? Or it's like Monster Hunter? There are other <laughs> games. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no that hate. Uh, no hate, man. I been... get zoned into one game normally. <laughs> It's, true. It's, it's been primarily that, and then, you know, Bioshock just came out, so I started playing that, too. Mm. Is that fun? That, that, that game is bonkers. Good bonkers? Bonkers fun, yes. It is visually, I, like, uh, I don't, uh, how far are you in? Me? Yeah. Um, I just got to the point where, I don't want to spoil too much, you are trying to get the tools for the gun maker... And you just did a thing that you may not be able to go back from. Gotcha. All right. Okay. Uh, I no like like it's it's one of those games that is for a big history nerd like myself. I'd love because it's oh yeah set, like it's set the, in 1912 in a world where like hey we're on a floating island city that you know what we freaking love the uh, founding fathers a little too much. <laughs> And it's it's bonkers, like super. It's like everything's peaceful and wonderful, and then oh, by the way, we are all crazy as shit. It's like okay, <laughs> well, this took a dark turn very quickly. It's, and uh, if you if you want to see what happens in that dark turn, uh, go watch my video <laughs> on it. It's in the last um, five minutes of the last video. You just have like it's a like founding fathers poster on your wall now, like the founding fathers, yeah. Yeah. They worship them as gods? Deities? It's awesome. It shows like George Washington in like a toga holding a sword, just looking like a straight That's... badass. <laughs> it has Ben Franklin super buff and he's like, yeah, what up, ladies? <laughs> <laughs> ben Franklin, man, notorious poon hound. It's tr true facts. <laughs> and now. History. Now he is amazing in this game. It's, it's a wonderful game. It's very cool. I like how you're Our... still educating the population through your history major. <laughs> true. It's true. This game was, I was, plus the 1912, like, the music, and every song in the back was like, hello, my dear, I love you. I'm like, this is the perfect <laughs> game for me. <laughs> right up my alley. I sing along with it, because I know all the songs. Like, old timey music. <laughs> <laughs> you don't got no I, was, I was born in 1912, so this is all very good for me. Right, absolutely. It's like, oh, this one. I remember this one back in the day. This is right before <laughs> oh, World War One. It's called Old Felt Hat. Old Felt Hat. You're on my head. Old Felt Hat. Everyone in the 1912s talks exactly I, the same. Well, hello there. <laughs> nice to meet you today. They do. <laughs> Everyone. Nickel for and a shoe shine. Nah. They have shoe shiners, but it costs 13 oh. cents, which is overpriced oh. if you ask me. Wow. What are we living right? in, like 1930? That is quite expensive. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I remember. I remember. Every, every, <laughs> I'll never forget. Mm -hmm. I love my parents because they tell me the best story. Like, I remember when you get three burgers for five cents. I'm like, Jesus. <laughs> How old are you? My dad says stuff like that all the time. I'm getting there. I remember when you could get gas. I my first year of driving, gas was eighty eight cents a gallon. Eighty eight oh. cents. Oh damn! Don't point that out. Yeah. Back in nineteen seventy, you youngins <laughs> don't know how good it was. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, back in my day, I had to climb three hills to pay fifty cents for a gallon of gas, and then we had to <laughs> hike back in the snow and siphon it into our cars. Up hills, both way. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, uh, Dodger, what have you been playing this week? 
So I haven't played Bioshock yet, but I've been really excited to play it for one specific reason, aside from the fact that it looks gorgeous. And I love the first Bioshock, but also that last night, our mutual friend Jeannie um, texted me and said, so my friend is playing this game right now. And somebody just said, how positively Darwinian. <laughs> now I just need to play it just to hear that. That's all I want to hear. There are, you're missing out. There's a lot of great, like, oh this my. I so, the so amazing. <laughs> there's a lot of that. There's there's one where this w- was woman's like, oh, look at him. He seems dreadfully unaware. And she's like, oh, I'm sure he's aware of what's happening around him. <laughs> right? And it's just like, what? <laughs> one I heard Plus, was, uh, 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 how ghastly. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, there's two characters who I'm convinced are like, the Romeo and Gildenstern of the story, where it's I know like exactly you're talking about. They Romeo keep popping in. Gildenstern? Yeah. Very, very Not different. Romeo. Uh, sorry, 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 sorry. Rosencrantz. God, sorry. I'm oh. sick. I'm on. I'm on. I'm on medicine right now. Uh-huh. Who are those people? Mm-hmm. Rosencrantz and Gildenstern from Hamlet, if you're not from aware, oh. are the two characters who are they're very minor and they get their asses handed to them quite hastily there's Hamlet. Play that is my absolute favorite play called rose and oh, Krantz, 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 dead. yes and that, that is, the is basically ever... what happens in uh when they're off screen in hamlet and it's like a comedy and it's silly and, and but in that play <laughs> rose and Krantz, Krantz, are dead there is a lot of stuff that mirrors these two characters who are at the very beginning of the game and then they keep showing up and i'm convinced they have a part to play i don't know what it is but they're so quirky and like weird that they are way out of place the entire time. And they, they have like, they even go as far as to do the, the heads tails coin flip thing. From oh, really? Actually in he the game. must be modeled after Rosencrantz and Guildenstern then. I think so. So we'll see. It's very intriguing. It's yeah, we didn't, for, mm. for people what? who are like, you're spoiling it. We didn't spoil anything. I mean, I don't yeah, know what- We spoiled it. anything. <laughs> Yeah, nothing is because spoiled. I don't know exactly what's happening to spoil it. <laughs> I still have no idea where I, I am. I have no clue what's going, going on. on. They just exist in this world. And hmm. so we'll see. Oh, now I want to play it even it's- more. Um, okay, so at PAX the, on Sunday, I finally got to play Secret Ponchos, which I have the little thingy for Whoa. right here. And it's great. That game was fantastic. I don't think she was in the demo yet. But this guy was awesome. And it's basically you just like run around and try to kill each other. And there are different classes that you can play. And for whatever reason, it was super fun and played that for a while. Um, I finally do. You guys remember the pot? Oh, I guess, Jesse, you're the only one who would have been here. Do you remember when (laughs) we saw the trailer for Ridiculous Fishing? Yes, I remember that. I started playing that and it's great. (laughs) I've almost got all the fish. I'm so close. What makes it ridiculous? Um, yes. What? Okay. So you. So Were here's you like here's the order of operations. So you you throw in your bait and then you dodge as many fish and things as possible because the second you hit a fish, you come back up. So you want to get as many fish as you can in one go, right? Mm-hmm. So then, when you finally hit a fish, you're coming back up and you're trying to like grab as many fish. Then they all fly out of the air and you have to take your shotgun and shoot all of them. And if you shoot them, then you get the money for them. But if they fall back in the water, then you don't get any money. It is a hilarious game. I've I've upped it to the point now where I have a line with a toaster and a hairdryer attached to them so that the first two fish that I hit just get electrocuted and don't make me go back up. And when all of the fish come out of the water, I have a laser that I can just charge up and it just explodes all the fish. This game is amazing. I think everyone should play it. And there's an end. You can actually like finish the game, which is kind of nice. You can run out of fish. That. You can, yeah. There is a certain number of fish you can get. There's a certain number Basically, of items. Basically, you, you can extinct get. all the fish. <laughs> you can it's destroy an ecosystem. Great. Congratulations. It's Roll credit. Well, you're trying to get like types of fish, so you're not getting like all the fish. You're just getting different types. That game fish. sounds so ridiculous. It's so yeah. ridiculous. It's ridiculous fishing. Uh. It's great. And I love it. It's crazy. Mm. Uh. Other than that, I found out that 
everybody in my house plays league. Mm-hmm. And now I feel out of place. And so I tried to play league again when I hadn't played it in a while. That game is not like riding a bike at all. <laughs> I just say trying to get back into league. I was like, I my kill death ratio is abysmal. <laughs> I just felt so awful about myself. But I'm trying to get better at League now so that I can play games with my roomies, and that's not going very well. Uh, but yeah, PAX was super fun. I got to spend an entire Saturday with Jesse, and he was great. And uh, the panel went amazingly, so so PAX was great. All right. And on Thursday, I leave go. again. Cool. Well, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. England, I'm coming to visit you. Oh. And steal, steal your crumpets and Ortiz. And mead and other such things. Uh, right, uh, mm. you visit England. Make mm. sure to check out uh, all the England mm. sites mm-hmm. and such. You sound less like an English person and more just like a drunk. <laughs> like an old drunk. <laughs> yeah. It's the wig. It's throwing you off. Sure what to think about the wig. It is. Jesse, what have you been playing this week? What do you do at PAX? Tell us all this stuff. Oh my goodness. Uh, Wings of Icarus, that game is fun. They actually yeah, contacted us and were game. like, hey, we heard you like the game if you want to play it, which would be a blast because you basically make a crew of four people and you fly an airship against other people in airships and you battle and it's awesome. And I can't wait to do that. Um, to make a team. Is it multiplayer? Yes. Like so, it's like, like you have like multiple people on your same airship. Yeah. yeah. So if the four of us Whoa. were on an airship, like I would be the captain, of course, <laughs> and you'd die. Be my crew. So one of you would be an engineer, one of you would be a gunner, right? And so, and, but each person can do multiple roles, but you can specialize in one if you want. And so you run around the ship and sort of like fix it while you battle these other. But it's first person, so I'd be steering the ship like this. And so you aren't like looking at it from the like outside in, like ships battling. It's you're actually on the ship. Yeah, you're fighting. actually like running around a ship. That sounds amazing. <laughs> That's so, that actually sounds kind of cool. Yeah, That's and, I, great. and right now the game is just ship versus ship. But I think they are they have a Kickstarter right now that literally just started on the Saturday of PAX, or like the Friday, whatever whatever day it started, and they are trying to get the money to make an adventure mode, like which is basically you fight against you know NPCs and various other things. Yeah, yeah but awesome. I think you still. Very- you still get to play four player in the adventure mode. I think. What did I say? Did I say guns? Oh, of, did I say wings of Icarus? Yeah. I oh, said, it's guns of I, Icarus. Did I not say that I'm sick? I <laughs> told you, man. Romeo and Guildenstern should have been a clue. Okay? Yeah. People, I am on. Romeo top and medicine. Guildenstern. <laughs> Somebody should write that. Tom Stoppard. I know you're not busy. Just write that for me, please. The game kind of sounds like a uh, multiplayer version of FTL, which when I was playing FTL, my thoughts were, oh, this would be so cool if it was multiplayer. Right. That's, that's kind of what it is, except it's, you know, like actual Airships. things are like, yeah, you're, you're, you're doing stuff and it's very steampunkish. Huh. So, it's, yeah, it's, it's kind of nice. Like that. The girl yeah. that chatted with us had the coolest jacket. I was like, I'm listening to your words, but I really just want to steal your clothes. Not in a weird pervy way. I just really liked her jacket. That's all. That's the only thing that I wanted to add to that. <laughs> All right, so that's out there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, All so right. if you're watching right now, I want she your jacket. You not in a jacket. pervy way. No, but not in a pervy way. <laughs> not a weird way. Yeah. I, I want to take your clothes. Not a weird way. Okay. I want to know what the pervy way of wanting a jacket is, because <laughs> that seems like something I would love to hear about. Mm-hmm. I just really want your jacket. I don't. It's when you do a prolonged touch, like, oh, that jacket looks really nice. Uh, no. Yeah, no. you you like reach over and be like, oh, what kind of fabric is that? And you just kind of rub it for a while. <laughs> the other person's like, I have to go. <laughs> and you just start inhaling it's it, like, no, words. hold on. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's the stuff. I don't understand. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. You understand, Jesse. <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't look at me. I'm on NyQuil right now. I I came on this show thinking, screw it. I'll my nose won't run if I just down this like gulp gulp. I'm good. <laughs> Halfway nope. through, you're just gonna be passed out. Like, uh, <laughs> like it may it may like happen. Back from a break, Jesse's just. <laughs> <laughs> it Damn. may yep. happen. You would have to like. We would have to have you drive over there, like break into his apartment and draw stuff on his face. Oh. That would be the best. Mm-hmm. If you could pass out as soon as possible, I'd really appreciate that. 
<laughs> yeah, I'll be re- sure to wear a jacket. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, what did you play? Brenda, what have you been playing? Uh... I've been playing so much. Well, at PAX, I played everything there. It was just right. great. I mean, nobody found me at PAX. It was kind of weird. I mean, I mm-hmm. thought somebody would find me. but Yeah, people kept asking where you were, and we kept telling them, and I don't know how... I don't know. I was just so you. good at not being found. Mm-hmm. But I played all... you don't look anything like yourself. That's true. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> really, really, Grendor is like... Eight, an eight foot tall, three fifty black man. <laughs> it's true. It's, it's true. The camera gotta... does weird things. <laughs> it does weird things. It's, it's the lighting. It's the lighting. It is the lighting. Yeah. It's always the lighting. Uh, I played so many things. I played well, not really. I played League of Legends. <laughs> I played. <laughs> uh, go on. Uh, I play. I actually played some more Diablo three again because really? I haven't played it in like forever. The PS3 and I version. Kind of, no, just the PC one. So I was like, you know what? I uh, oh. want to play it. So I played a Barbarian, and that was actually pretty fun. I think I deleted that. Probably. Uh, there's apparently some game called Path. No, of I didn't. It's still in here. Path of Exile. Path, Path of, of Exile. Exile? Is cool. Yeah, that's yeah. supposed to be like Diablo 2, I guess. Yeah. It's closer to that. It's really cool. It's yeah, replay too. Awesome. Yeah, I was gonna try that. I downloaded it. Uh, what else? I played. Uh, I played some WoW, obviously, and then, uh, can we talk about shows? I watched Sherlock. That was amazing. Hey, David, yeah, you finished all of it, because we talked. We talked. we discussed. It was so oh my good. Gosh. If you haven't watched Sherlock, not the American one, the British one. BBC one. It's so good. It's so amazing. I didn't want to watch it at first. I was like, eh, it's probably like whatever. And then I watched it, and I was like, oh my god. This right? Is so good. Good. Every time I talk about this show all the time, and every time somebody <laughs> finally watches it, they're always like, "Oh my god, the show's great!" And I'm like, "I know," in all caps, always. But I'm so glad that you loved it. <laughs> I know. It's just now like, we can trade conspiracy theories. We can. This is so wonderful. What are you? What conspiracy? What the shit are you talking about? Are we watching the same show? Watch the show. I have watched it. It's good. It's not like jizz exploding great. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I've seen, Christ. I've, seen I've, I've seen, I've seen all six episodes uh-huh. and I'll let you know. One, uh, you know. Uh, Don't spoil anybody. <laughs> well, yeah, some spoiling. of us haven't seen it at all. <laughs> yeah, Pro Jared, you gotta go watch it. Okay, wait. Pro Jared, go watch it. Mm-hmm. And then get back to me. Mm. Um, yeah, I don't really like TV. No, it's, uh, it's not TV. It's like <laughs> it's like BBC. It's than TV. <laughs> <laughs> okay, sorry, Jesse. What are you? What? Nothing. What? Nothing. I I don't know. I. It's it's good. It's it's not bad. It's just not like as insane as you guys are saying. I don't know what conspiracy theories you're thinking of. What? How- Did you watch the same show? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but. <laughs> You're giving I've me also like read <laughs> Sherlock, so I understand. I don't know what the conspiracy theory is. What are you talking about? You are. Giving what are you her... talking about? What conspiracy can't theory? Spoil people. <laughs> you are giving spoil her. Spoil people on what? On spoil what? people on what? There's no conspiracy here. <laughs> are you talking about the finale? Let's move on. Let's move on. Yes. Are you talking right. about the finale? About how even in. No, the... shut up, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Whoa, pause. Have you never in your life read or seen anything uh, other Sherlocky besides this? No, oh, I have. That doesn't. No. Okay. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> what? It doesn't make any sense. None of this is new. They are redoing all the old stories just modernly. None of it's new. None of it. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I've been it's watching good. Archer. It's good, but it's Archer's not... great, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> Shit. It's good. I got to derail this conversation. It's not. Yeah. It's not. Good. I'm glad. It's, I'm glad you're here. Uh, Archer's a great show. I'm not hating. In the chat, like, you're, I said it was good. I just want to know what you're talking about because you're not I making tried. any sense. It's the NyQuil talking. That's I what was, it is. <laughs> Jesse, it's I will good. Skype you later, and we'll it's talk about good, this. It's candidly. not like there's. It's not like Lost, where I'm like, "Holy shit, what's in the hatch?" I know what's gonna happen. 
I know I know what's gonna happen. If you've read Sherlock, you know what season three is gonna be. It's not anything spectacular. You know what's gonna happen. There is no conspiracy here. <laughs> There's no conspiracy. <laughs> yes, yeah, no, let the hate about. flow through you. <laughs> let the hate flow through you. Makes me stronger. <laughs> Hashtag There's no conspiracy. <laughs> There's no, there is none. I have to move my microwave because I'm getting very loud. There's no conspiracy. None whatsoever. If you've read the books or seen any previous incarnation of Sherlock Holmes, there is nothing that you don't already expect or know what's going to happen. Mm-hmm. It's, I'm sorry. You're, you're insane. I need to know this so badly. <laughs> <laughs> what is the conspiracy? What is the conspiracy here? There is no conspiracy. There is no... <laughs> Fuck me. There's no conspiracy. The only conspiracy we should be talking about is how Square Enix still makes video games. <laughs> Other than that, there is no conspiracy. None. Maybe why Tom Cruise is a is a reverse growing man child. Maybe that. Maybe that's a conspiracy. But Sherlock Holmes is not a fucking conspiracy. There's no fucking conspiracy here. None. Tell us how you really feel. <laughs> Jesse, you okay? You feeling okay there? <laughs> Uh, all right so i mean i also watched the live tgs podcast at pax that was kind of g- interesting wasn't that great <laughs> it was, it was pretty great uh <laughs> that's all <laughs> that's all i mean there's just like 600 people that wanted to like come see you guys for some reason i don't even know God, that is, that was fun. I'll admit that was it was an honor, and I was like, I can't even begin to describe how amazing that was. I'm pretty so. sure all of them were just looking for the bathroom and just wandered in. They're just like, what is this? And like, then they locked the what's door. What's this behind. line for? <laughs> no. it's definitely the men's room. I knew it was gonna be wacky when there were so many people they had to put them in a holding room. Yeah, <laughs> that was still the people outside. Thing. When I heard that, I was like, oh God, that is the holding that room. That is bad. Yeah, um, like Holly, Holly tweeted a picture of everybody sitting in the holding room, and I was like, there's so many people in there, like, just, oh my goodness. Wait, what did they do in the holding room? Like They just sat and... Is it like the waiting room to get in? Cattle prods. <laughs> they just, like, brand them all. Uh, they gave everyone <laughs> tickets, and your freedom was raffled. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> One person never made it out alive, is what we're mm. saying. Some just... say he's still holding on to that ticket. <laughs> He's just holding on to a Jesse Cox like. One day I'll autograph. meet DB. One day. <laughs> One day. No, but that panel was incredible. I had no idea it was going to be completely full. That was crazy, and uh, just I've never done a panel before, so having that be my first panel was like what? So cool. I've actually uh, I went to a few panels, and I was on two, but I went to a, a few other ones, and the only panel that was filled besides ours was the Blizzard panel day one. And that panel, I can guarantee they did not have nearly as much fun. I'll reenact, <laughs> it. I'll reenact it for you. Hi, I'm so-and-so from Blizzard, and I'm here to tell you about our new, uh, our new game. It's going to be awesome. We got together and we said, like, what other games can we make? And, and the crowd is like, yeah! Woo! <laughs> <Freaking> out. <laughs> they play the trailer, and it's like, it's like World of Warcraft, Hearthstone, <laughs> and the crowd like there's one dude who's like, what game is like, and the <laughs> silence. And I felt so bad for that dude. Aww. I really felt bad for the guy on stage because he was like, now I'm gonna sell you on it. It's cool. I mean, Hearthstone looks okay for what it is as a card game. It's cool looking. I but it's gonna be really fun. Yeah, it's still a card game though. Like it was. Yeah. They sent out press releases saying, like, it's a new IP, get ready, it's going to be amazing. It's a card game in the World uh, World of Warcraft universe. It's like, okay, well, that's a thing. I mean, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. I'll probably, like, give it a give it a whirl. But still, it's not something new. And a lot of people were a little disappointed. A lot of I, people were I, like, they're going to release Project Titan. <laughs> that's what you yeah, thought. Yeah, they thought they were going to get a view. 
or, or some people were like, maybe it's the movie. Like a lot of people were really excited that it was gonna be something different, and they sold it on that. They sent out internet scrolls. <laughs> yeah. Like if you're on their mailing list, they sent out a scroll that said like, if you're attending PAX, come to this super secret like meeting thing, and it, you don't do that and then go, it's a card game, kids. Like that's <laughs> kind of douchey, Blizz. Just say it. Just say it. Yeah, I feel like I the think big... it's really. Oh, go ahead. No, go for it. I think it's really weird that they're like, oh, we've created an all new World of Warcraft card game when there's already a World of Warcraft yeah. card game. Yeah. yeah. They could have just made like a digital version of that and people probably still would have liked it. Look at uh, Magic the Gathering and all the virtual versions of that. Like people are just absolutely loving Duels of the Planeswalker. People mm -hmm. are just loving the crap out of that. So yeah. why not just take the actual World of Warcraft card game and make that virtual instead of making a second World of Warcraft card game? Yeah. yeah. I think, yeah, for me, <clears throat> when I found out about that, I was like, this is the second time in a row that Blizzard has been like, we've got something really cool to announce. And it's been like a suit just, oh, oh. <laughs> like, I will say, though, uh, Diablo 3 on the PlayStation, uh, PlayStation 3 and I guess PS4 whenever it comes out, I got a chance to play that. I actually kind of enjoyed it more than PC with the controller really? and... <laughs> I know, how weird. <laughs> uh, one thing that I did find out, I mean, I'm not sure how much replay is going to be at it because uh, it, 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 there is no auction house. There, there, it's, it's offline, so you can play with your friends, but you're not playing on, like, some crazy... I mean, you can play offline if you choose to. So once you beat it, unless you want to keep doing the difficulties, I don't know what sort of long-term... Because you aren't selling and buying stuff in the auction house. And so besides that, which I think... I'm, I'm okay with that. The, you know, there isn't that weird, like, DRM stuff. But then when you play the game, you kind of, like, I'm trying to, like, imagine you're looking shit. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right. I, I can't, I can't. All right. You're looking at it from, like, the top down-ish, like, at an angle, like, like kind of like that. Mm -hmm. Like, this is you looking yes. down at it, right? Mm -hmm. Now imagine right. this. They, cha totally. they changed it to, like, this. So now you're looking this way. So before oh. you were looking down, now you're looking like this. And the whole game <laughs> looks different, like... All the models and stuff. I, I was talking to a guy and I was like, did you redo all the models for PlayStation? The guy's like, no, we just changed the angle. And now you see more of their face rather than like the top of their head. And so it looks, say. yeah, it looks kind of cool. And I was like, all right, all right, Blizz, it, I'm, I'm okay with this. Is the angle different and is it zoomed in or is it still like? Yeah, no, no, yeah, it's, it's, it's out and then zoomed in, but I'm not sure by how much. Okay. But so... It's the characters look more detailed. All of it looks cool, but I asked him about PlayStation 4 because I was like, clearly PlayStation 4 is more like a PC. So are you going to sort of like change that up? And he's like, oh, we can't really talk about that right now. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, gotcha. Okay. okay. Yes. Hmm. Are they going to have the online auction house for that or no? No, no, no. There is no auction house. It doesn't exist. So what you oh. get is what you trade with friends, but you can't like go to the auction house and buy stuff. So... Uh, I would say it's going to be a lot more difficult than the actual PC version because the PC version, I could buy things that other people had got and, and out like power the levels as I was going up. Yeah. This you're on your own. You got to do it with your friends if you want better items. It so, had like the trading card game, like whatever it's called, where like you can just be like, I bought the best cards because I have more money than you. Right. So it's kind of like it defeats that like time commitment makes you better than other people like theory yeah. or whatever yeah it's interesting i i definitely want to see that uh and see what they have in store we'll see uh but when it comes to mmos elder scrolls online i got to play two hours of that on sunday <laughs> balls is that game looking great there's a lot of stuff they <clears throat> they changed from the last time i played it a lot of it not for the better like one of the things i noticed and i actually talked to the devs and was like you guys should change this back because it doesn't make any sense now First version I played, they had, um, on, on, you know, if you played an Elder Scrolls game, you have your Magicka life and your stamina. And they had a, a tool tips along the way as you progress through showing you what you would get as you put more points into that. Now, they removed all that stuff and they, like, they're you, even mousing over it, there's nothing there. And I was like, what? this doesn't, I was like, this, that, that doesn't make any sense. They're like, well, we, we took all that out and we put it into the armor. So now instead of, Magicka stamina and, and health giving you special things, uh, you can put points into different armor types and different like class types and different weapons. So you can level up certain weapons to give you more stuff. 
so when I was playing, I was playing as a mage, and um, like I could put points into my weapon to give me ability that when guys come at me, I can push them back so they'll keep the hell away from me. And that's like a weapon ability. But then I have spells because I'm a mage. And then there's abilities they can get from putting points into armor. So they change the whole damn thing. And it's in, it, it's it's interesting. Other than that, uh, it plays the exact same way. So uh, there's when you go into first person, you'll have arms. Like, I have my arms like I'm playing in Skyrim. And um, when you... like every, Like, even as a mage, if you're attacking someone, if someone runs in front of the person you're attacking, it'll hit that person rather than... Like, there isn't, like, auto-targeting WoW style where if you target someone, we'll just follow them. <clears throat> if you're firing on something, you have to be facing that. It's it's like it's like a, an Elder Scrolls game, except mm -hmm. online with people. Um, it looked really nice. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely... I think they've definitely got a lot more stuff to improve on. I, I told them... I was like, this new thing is not... This new, like, setup for how you level, I was like, guys, that's going to confuse the shit out of people. Yeah. But one thing I did love, and it sent me on a quest, like, I probably wasted most of my time. I was looking around, and I found a buried treasure chest, and I opened it, and it was like, I be Captain Bob's treasure scroll. Look for these clues. And it was literally like, go to the North Star and stand upon it. I'm like, what? So I, like, went around looking for this treasure that was, I guess, like a side quest that I had found. It was mm. kind of cool. And uh, it didn't tell you. Like, there was no place on the map. It just said, like, here's the hint. Go to this place. And so you had to find When you got there, a little thing would be like, boom, you found it. And then it would That's tell you where the next clue was. But oh. it wasn't like a wow thing where there's a big circle around. <laughs> the <go> yeah. Here. <laughs> there was none of that. That's so what I makes it like, fun. It's like So what you played so far makes it. it look pretty promising. It, it looks, one of the things I love is that it looks and feels like an Elder Scrolls game if you want it to. Mm -hmm. um, you can basically just uh, make it an MMO and scroll out to, like as far as you want and play with your friends and stuff. But if you want to play by yourself in that uh, Elder Scrolls like whoop, sort of like first person view, you can. And the game will let you, when you set up the game the first time you lo log in, it will say, here's a list of things that, that, it's like a questionnaire. It's like, who do you like to play with? What do you want to do? What's your goals? What do you want to accomplish? Uh, are you a PvP or stuff like that? And if you fill it out, like honestly and truthfully, and you can even say things like, I want to play with people who are only 20 plus. If you do that, it's one server, it's like a mega server. So when every time you log in, the first thing it'll check for is your friends, and the second thing it will check for is your preferences. And those are the only people that will be on your game. So if you want, you can mm. play with just your friends, or you can say, I want to play with everybody, and your world will be filled with people. So it's your That's call. That's so you cool. I think. Yeah. yeah. You've seen a lot more than way. I have because I first saw the game at E3 last year, and what they showed there had me so completely unenthused about the game at all. Like I was just not impressed. I didn't see anything that even made me remotely interested. But if they're adding in all the stuff that you're talking about, that gives me a little more hope for the game, I guess, and to actually being something cool and not just another MMO. That's one of the things that I really last October because I agree after E3. I was like, this is just a wild clone. It's garbage. After, uh, in October, they invited me out there to play the game in the alpha version because they were like, we, we really want some good press on this thing. And they reworked all of it from like the ground up, basically. Hmm. And their goal now is to have like a middle ground between uh, an MMO and then a Elder Scrolls game. So they're trying to find like that perfect middle ground. And the problem is they keep going back and forth and they like find something really awesome. And I'm like, oh, that's really cool. But then they drop something. I'm like, no, why'd you do that? And I guess it has to do with like restriction, what they can do with like the actual game itself. So we'll see what happens. I mean, they, they have the potential to make something really awesome, but huh. they also have the potential to really screw it up. So <laughs> I, I don't, you know, I don't know what's going to happen. There's a lot of great things in the game right now, but at the same time, there's, like I said, they changed something that I thought was really stupid. I was like, why would you change that? Visually, it was so much easier to understand. Now there's about a million and a half more things to think about, and you don't get to actually see them. I was like, maybe it's just this build, but I feel like you should probably go back to the way it was earlier. How does it feel compared to, like, Guild Wars 2 or, like, WoW? Uh, it's, it's just as fluid as Guild Wars 2. Much more fluid than, than, than WoW, that's for sure. You only have six spells, and then you have a, uh, I think it was R or T or Q. One of the buttons was your, uh, like, 
you can move a potion or an item or whatever you want into that button, but those are the only buttons you actually have to press. So you can only choose from, you can get literally like dozens and dozens of abilities, but you can only choose from six. And so those are the ones you use to create your character. And different, like if you have a staff, for example, it'll do different abilities. So I had like a fireball one. And so on your mouse, if you press real click, it'll shoot one fireball just really fast. Or if you hold it down, uh, I'm sorry. And if you hold it down for a little bit, it'll shoot two. And if you hold it down all the way, it'll shoot uh, three mm. fireballs. But what it will also do is it'll keep, like, like in Skyrim, if you keep holding it down, you'll do like a bunch of really hard swings in a row. This, it will do a bunch of really big fireballs in a row. But if the guy's really close, you're getting your ass beat down while he's doing it. And, right. or, or while you're trying to do that. So that's why when you have that staff ability that pushes guys away, you can push them back, knock them down, and then get off like a really quick attack and then try to run out of the way. So it's very much like a mixture of Guild Wars and uh, like Morrowind or, or Skyrim or Oblivion. So it's, it's, it's this happy middle ground they're going for. But again, it, it, you know, they're trying to get the, boast, the best of both worlds, but I don't know if that's asking too much. Yeah. I mean, it, it seems like one of those things where it could be perfect or it could fall flat. And I guess we'll just see the closer we get. I mean, I'm really excited for the beta. Hopefully people are getting into that. I think they just sent some stuff out. We'll see. See what happens. Did you? Well, you've given me more hope for it. Yeah. <laughs> for what it's worth. Did you see like professions or anything? No. Uh, the one thing, the things I did see, um, the, one of the things that that was funny is that it's such an early stage of the alpha that some of the voices aren't in the game yet. So one of the characters is voiced by Steve Bloom. Uh, he's like a guy you save in a dungeon. Of course he is. Of course. <laughs> I was just going to say. Uh. <laughs> Jennifer Hale is in there at some point too. Trust me. She has to be. So one of the guys is voiced by uh, Steve Bloom, and you go and save him, and he's like this rogue guy in a dungeon. And there are multiple options for the quest, right? So you can like escort him out one way or do whatever. And the dungeons are very similar in the aspect of there's a lot of, it's just like say in a, a Skyrim dungeon where there are traps plus enemies. So you have to like dodge roll and, and avoid things. But um, what one of the things that I thought was funny is there's so many multiple ways to get him out of the dungeon that one of the ways I went, they hadn't recorded his voice or put that part in the game yet. So it's just like a Microsoft Sam or whatever that is. Like, <laughs> we should probably go this way. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> you just I would play in. that. I know. Perfect. Yeah, I want to play that. So that's, that's how early it is in the game. Like some of the voices were clearly some of the devs because I like recognize their voices. It's like, we should probably like they're just reading a script. And and so that's that's how early it is. Listen, and, um, devs, if you need voices. Yeah, we're all up for that. We so are. we're professional. And uh, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> and then uh, what, uh, they also have locksmithing uh, or, or not locksmithing, but like lock picking. Sorry. Okay. And so when you pick locks, I want to be a locksmith. I want to go be the guy gonna... who <laughs> locks everything up. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha jerks. So <laughs> when, when, when you lock pick in Skyrim, you know how you would like move the things with your mouse yeah. and stuff. This one is. It's, you see, like, a cutaway of the inside of the lock and all the different springs, the mechanisms for the, the, the lock itself. And so oh, your locks like will still Sherlock. break. Yeah, your locks will still break, but you have to mouse over and hold down each one. Like, there's a timer. And so you hold it down, and then it, like, goes down and then starts to shake. And right when it starts to shake, you have to let go or else it will spring back up. And you have to do that for the entire way down. Interesting yeah, mechanic. Yeah. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That sounds fun. Is that weird? I want to try it, that. That sounds it's fun. fun. But it what does. you do <laughs> is you get uh, skill points into lock picking, just like all the other games. If you do it, but if you're just like, I'm, I'm tired of this shit, you can press R if you have enough of them and just like break the lock open. So you can like buy items to help you break locks, o locks open. But down the line, it's probably easier to pick locks and learn how to do it and get the skill up. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, there's a lot of stuff in the game that's there, and it's really exciting. But at the same time, again, it's so early that it could go either way. Like, I don't know. There's, I'm, I'm very optimistic, but I was optimistic about Star Wars. <laughs> I was optimistic about Rift. I was optimistic about Terra. I've been optimistic about every MMO being like, this is it. This is the one that's going to do it for me. It's going to bring me back into MMOs. And every single one of them sucked. Aww. So. Yep. 
Jesse gets a call from Bethesda. Uh, thank you. Your check's on the mail. So he's going to that. <laughs> oh, they know, they know I don't. I'm, I'm very like, look, you guys, I'm in, but don't break my heart on this because I'll be the first to be like, <laughs> you suck. Like, heart. if it's bad, I'll be the first person to be like, you ruined it. Like, you had so much potential. Yeah. So. But if you guys need voices. Yep. Yes. They bring it all in. Okay, we need you to sound like Steve Bloom. So. <laughs> 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 all right. Well, let's take a break. And then we'll be back and we might talk about more video game stuff. We might not. Who knows? It's a mystery. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. We'll be back. Peace. We're back. Oh, good. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How's it going? Hi. I know you missed uh -oh. us in that short period. That's why we came back. Mm -hmm. That is why we came back. We came back. Anyway, I would love if you like if you came back to the stream and we were all just gone. <laughs> that needs to happen at least one Stay time. Poorly. I'll just like hide below my computer and be like, huh? can I back. start off this section of the TGS podcast since we were just talking about Elder Scrolls to ask Jesse whether or not he still has ghostings of that stamp from the party because I cannot get rid of that thing. <laughs> This stamp, this, can you see it? I did not it's approve like the, whether or not you could ask this question. And uh, this, the, I like, believe the actual terminology is brand. The like dragon or Roboros, it does not, it will not come no, off. No, I, I use what is commonly known as a washcloth. <laughs> oh, you. do tell. To scrub my skin. I so that I don't Jesse smell also takes disgusting. showers. Yeah, I take, no, I take I, a sh thing called a shower. I took Apparently. I took one I took one the next day after we went to that party and Why? it washed right off. So this is unfair. I don't. This is unfair. I have sponge skin. I don't know what to do. <laughs> You're like SpongeBob. I have sponge skin. <laughs> it's gonna be there forever. I should just get this tattooed on myself. Sp sponge dodge <laughs> square pants. Sponge dodge square pants. Sponge dodge square pants. Jesse. <laughs> Welcome to the X Men. Oh my God! Do? I'm quite absorbent. Someone make... I'm a very absorbent person. I also do YouTube. Someone draw that. Someone draw <laughs> Dodger as Sponge Dodge Squarepants, and then Jesse can be Patrick, and TB can be Squidward. Yes, this is everything I want. <laughs> Who is going to be Mr. Krabs? Uh, I feel like oh, Pro Jared's TB, a good TB. Mr. Krabs. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. And then, uh, I haven't watched that show at all, so I don't know what, how to impersonate him. No, it's okay. Yeah. All right. And then uh, you just make noises. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. When we were first putting this call together for sound check, Jared <laughs> joined the call when Krender and I were doing that noise back and forth forever. Oh yeah, I'm Gary. We had a wonderful symphony going for a while. <laughs> yeah, it was it was really good. You're Gary. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, we, we have good times. We like each other. Yeah. It's good. We're all friends here. Oh, you know. Good times. We like each other. Good times. Great oldies. <laughs> Rocket 95. Do, 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 boom. Anyway, uh, let's talk about some things. Okay. Uh, since we're on an Elder Scrolls kick, we can talk about people being like, where's Skyrim 6 or the new Elder Scrolls? Because Skyrim's old now. We want a new one. <laughs> What? Really? Yeah. People are already feeling that way? Yeah. My god, people are impatient. <laughs> so, uh, apparently, Adventures in Hammerfell is like their new DLC that's coming out. Gotcha. And so they're like, they're working on DLC. They're not going to be making a new, like, Skyrim or Elder Scrolls for a while. <sighs> mm -hmm. I feel like people just want them to like pump out the games. Like I'm tired of it's Viking Land. Several years in between Elder Scrolls games. I don't know why they're suddenly expecting to get another one two years after the last. Yeah. I mean, it's really it has to do with the the community being used to that real immediate being spoiled. Yes. Yeah. That. It's, I was trying to think of a better way to put it. Stop being but we spoiled. Are spoiled. I mean, we're used to games coming out 
like once a year at least now in a franchise and it's silly you don't actually appreciate it that way whatsoever and they don't have enough time to really make something that they've put their heart into either yeah where's the medium that people be pleased with because it's every year like call of duty or assassin's creed people are like oh this is bullshit it's just the same game watch our bar every year yeah, and then for elder scrolls it. skyrim it's been like two years I'm like we're the next one <laughs> <laughs> i want more yeah even every two years like halo yeah. people are like oh just too much halo it's just bullshit <laughs> <laughs> just like that <laughs> yep <laughs> Jesse, have you played all of the DLC up till now? No, I haven't. I I am just like so overwhelmed. I, I haven't. <laughs> yeah. I just I got millions of things to do that I want to do. I'll go I'll go back to it, but I just don't. There's just not enough time in the day. You're not. I mean, in order to do everything. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you beat me. Uh oh. Come on thousand episodes jesse i know what i wanted to ask you about saints row 4 holy crap so literally uh this is good news for for you and i mr crendor yes literally after uh i I went to a press event Mm -hmm. and literally after it was over the woman there was like i hear you like this game and i was like i do (laughs) so i think i think they're gonna try and get us some like early copies of that thing because oh yeah oh snap Amazing. Saints Row 4, in all honesty, looks like very similar to Saints Row 3, but I just don't care because that's all I want. They've taken they've taken the level of crazy and just up the ante. So the next logical step for a saint is you become the president of the United States. <laughs> and you and your crew. Oh, by the way, if you're curious, the ending that is legit is the happy ending. The one where Shondi and all your friends live. So the one basically where you have that moon mission that is basically yeah. a movie. Yeah. Um, that is the real one. So the one where everyone lives and everything's fine. That's the good ending. So I guess the one bad guy is still alive out there. But um, you are president, and your crew is like, "Hey, yeah, everything's good." And then aliens come and they kidnap all of you. And this is about like a fourth way through the game. They kidnap all of you and put you in a simulation that is Steelport, but it's like an alien taking over Steelport, and they're trying to break your will. So I guess that's the whole point of this. Of, of, of like the rest of the game takes place there where you have to go to different simulated steel ports to save all of your friends and get them back with you. And in there, that's when you get your superpowers. Like you're not, it's basically the matrix. Like Neo <laughs> shouldn't be able to fly in real life. So you're playing like with flying powers, but they were like, we're not going to have any jets or anything. You literally fly through the air, jump, and it looks amazing. That looks so and hilarious. <laughs> You can freeze things, and you can bash things, and you can freeze them, and then bash them, and they explode into pieces. So you get, like, superpowers. Um, yes, you do. But then outside oh. of the simulation, you're still just the president. But I asked them, I was like, do you have any presidential powers? <laughs> and I was hoping they'd say, like, drone missiles, because that'd be <laughs> awesome. And so, essentially, uh, it's like a game that's split in half. And they said that the Enter the Dominatrix stuff isn't in it, but they're thinking of future DLC. But one of the things they were talking about in the press conference was... We just like crazy shit in our games. We say, why can't we have that in games? So they made a mech, like a giant walking mech <laughs> that does like the robot when you beat the missions, which is amazing. But it's it rather than like the tank missions from Saints Row the Third, this one is just a mech and you go around and just blow stuff up and have fun. And originally they made a giant like city sized one and the guys were like, whoa, whoa, we can't have mechs in this game. And they're like, oh, and he's like, no, no, I mean, we can have them, just not that big. <laughs> and so they made like so there's like just giant mechs that fight each other and there's crazy stuff happening and and the aliens are everywhere it's nonsense and just when i thought it couldn't get any better they unloaded the dubstep gun it's a gun <laughs> that wub wubs its way across the screen so it's like shoots lasers that go like wub 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 and like shoot at people and anyone in the area just starts break like just starts going crazy dancing like pop locking right and then they just like dubstep to death it's amazing <laughs> that, that it is, is bonkers amazing the guys were like we could throw in anything we were like we like skyrim why don't we just put in a dragon and they had a dragon in the game <laughs> they were like it won't be polished enough for the time that we release it so you know it'll be a dlc maybe <laughs> i was like i love you guys so much they're just like we don't care what kind of mindset do you have we're like dragon no that's too much giant robots <laughs> dubstep gun 
aliens. I like that. Dragon. Whoa, dude. Come on. Well, they even said, like, some guy asked. He's like, no, no, it's not that it's too much. It's just that we didn't have time to, to make it, like, fleshed out. So we'll just put it in the future. Like, he's like, look, we love the idea of a dragon showing up in this game. We just want to make sure it's actually good. I'm like, all right. It's, that's the, that's I want to play a dragon said. with a map. We have integrity in fun. our craziness. It that, sounds that makes, like the game that is, like, literally made for us. Made for us, I know. <laughs> you, know what, you know what this game is? This game is going to be when we're all children and we're in our sandbox and you just have every single toy you could possibly own in that sandbox and you're playing with all of them all at the same time. So you got, like, your superhero with your giant robot with a dinosaur with, like, an airplane and you're just using all of them at the same time. That's Saints Row 4. I killed you with the power of music. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, here comes the T-Rex <laughs> Fighting the planes it, it looks ridiculous The entire thing is amazing looking And uh, I think because it's so ridiculous That's why I love it I, I am in love with the fact that they are just like Look, we don't We, we don't care We're going to make something that we want to make That's fun and silly And that's might be the best part of it Is they're like you know, we, we, we could have killed off all these characters, but screw it. We're going to bring them all back, and you're the president now. Go. And I'm just like, I'm okay. I'm okay with all of that. I really hope that if we have an in, we can influence them to make a Hitler citizen that we get to beat up. No! No! In the video, Hitler was back! The guy in the video they showed us. Yes. Yeah, dude, I was, I was about to be like, oh my god, Krender's going to flip out. It says the guy you call Hitler oh who was god. there. And he was, and he was just like... Walking down the street like, oh, I wonder what's gonna happen. Again, I feel like they pushed this one out to try and make a, like a, a buck on this because it looks like the exact same as Saints Row the Third. I don't even care. I don't care <laughs> either. It looks, it looks so much fun. It's just what I want. Even if it was a like DLC level, it literally <laughs> is like a new twelve-hour game, like eight to twelve-hour game. So I'm totally cool with that. You, you know, bring it on. I'm very excited. This sounds like the greatest thing I've ever heard about in my life. It's wonderful. I'm trying to remember all the amazing things that were in the video they showed us because it was they were just like, here's another thing we're going to throw in the game. And it was just something. There's so much crazy happening that I could not process it all. <laughs> like everyone in the room was like, holy shit. Sensory overload the game. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if like they're going to have uh, like how much more customization they'll have. For, like, making your guy. Oh, your guy can transfer over. So if we want to be the same guy still, we can bring them over. Oh, damn. And uh, you, you, your customization will still be pretty much the same, I think, with how your guy looks and what you can do with him. But uh, they did mention customiza customization in uh, another way, but I can't remember what it was. Oh, my God. Like I said, sensory overload. <laughs> so much was happening. Bigger dicks. That it was, oh, I guarantee that's <laughs> <laughs> So they, like, everything about the game is just like, how can we take it to the nth degree? And so they're doing that. <laughs> I'm excited. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited. So. Well, uh, moving well, on from that amazing thing. Uh, <laughs> Guild Wars 2 also had an update to, like, fix World v. World stuff. Did you hear about that? Nope. No. No. Well, apparently, it's this giant World v. World patch, and I guess they're changing, like, I don't know, like, achievements in it, and, like, I was hoping they'd actually change, like, the format. I don't know if they changed the format. There's, like, guild missions now. There's, uh, world ability point placement things are permanent. I guess you get, like, world ability points. I don't know if you got that before, did you? Mm, I don't remember. Question. <laughs> yes, I don't remember. <laughs> As a person who does not play MMOs, what does World v. World mean? <laughs> uh, it's when two servers, well, three servers, collide in a PvP, sort of like take castles, objectives kind of thing. And so okay. it's... So it's like a rare instance, or it can no, happen it, at any it, time? It's, no, that's, that's PvP. So there's... There's normal PvP like where it's you are doing, I don't know, just like little tiny battlegrounds. And then okay. there's World v. World v. World, which is three servers fighting against each other on four maps that are all of equal size. And so you have 
each server controls one big map, and then there's another map that's like a castle, and there's a bunch of stuff there. And so everyone is fighting for a total control of points and locations over all the worlds in the mist. And it's like so, massive armies versus each yes, other. Yes, so it's okay. lots and lots of people fighting. That's World v. World. Okay. So it's, rather than be 10 versus 10 or 15 versus 15, it's like 100 versus 100, something like that. Well, apparently the big update is that they are removing culling. Which is, for those of you who have been hanging onto every word the devs have spoken in the system, that limits how many characters are reported to your client for drawing, is what culling yes. is. Yes, basically what it is, is it's a really messed up thing they have in the game that's kind of awful, where if I'm playing, let's say the four of us are on a team, right? And this is just really simplified. In many cases, if we charge at someone, and there are already a bunch of people on that person's screen... We will not be visible. We'll be invisible. And so they only show what they think is the amount you'll need to know of information. And a lot of people have scammed that system. So something that you can do, I'm not saying our guild did this, but something you can do is if, if you get all the guild members in a real tight clump and run them together in a real tight clump, only a few of them will actually be visible when they burst in through like a gate or whatever. And so the people fighting them will only see those few and only be able to go after those few while everyone else is just slaughtering everyone. And so oh. it's kind of an issue. And so there's a lot of, like, it, it seems like a bug, but it actually isn't. It's just their way of making it so you can have so many people on the screen. Because visually there are, your screen can be filled with people, and then there are still people not seen there. So oh, this weird. patch fixes this. Yeah. yeah, and me Mesmers could, like, make multiples of themselves. So you could literally spam hundreds of Mesmer multiples, clones, and just, like, destroy the enemy's chances of seeing you. And <laughs> uh -huh. it, was a, it was an issue. It was a real big issue. Does that mean, like, load times are going to be worse, though? I, have no, I don't know what it means. Hopefully it means nothing. Hopefully it means everything will be a-okay. <laughs> Hopefully everything is going to be perfect. It will be perfect. Alrighty. Uh, and in other MMO news, Rift uh -huh. to be shuttered in Korea. That's the one you like. Yeah, I was reading about that. I was like, is, didn't it come out just like a year ago and it's already being closed down? That's sad. The Korean version of Rift is closing down April 25th, and they are saying difficult maintenance decisions. Uh, are the biggest so reason. They just can't afford to keep it going, basically. Yep. To be fair, the new StarCraft expansion just came out, so... <laughs> it's true. They're it's like, true. look, we can it's only have point. one going at a time. We're getting rid of Rift. Our user base dropped by 83%. There's only, only one explanation. Mm -hmm. uh, and then, I mm -hmm. found an amazing thing, which is how yeah, video okay. games can save education. This oh, is from shoot. PAX East 2013. So, Go on. Uh, there is a thing called Atlantis Remixed, The Doctor's Curse, and... Cure. Oh, Cure. The Doctor's Cure. Curse. And They're very the different. I figured out. The Doctor's Curse. <laughs> ah! yeah. Atlantis Remixed is an international learning and teaching project that uses a 3D multi-user environment to immerse children ages 9 to 16 in educational tasks. ARX combines strategies used in commercial games with lessons from educational research on learning and motivation. So, huh. uh, it talks about how learning can be fun. <laughs> Mm -hmm. You know what I love about the title of this article, where it actually says how video games can save education? It just kind of implies, right now, education is fucked. <laughs> 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 right now, everyone's so dumb that our If you're in school right now, sorry, bro. <laughs> you're just an idiot. You're an idiot. Just... You need video games. <laughs> what? Okay, can I just read this? It says... Their second game is called Mystery of the Taiga River, and it teaches children how to explore the subject of water quality and how it affects fish in a river. Mm -hmm. I'd play it. You're going to learn all too. time, right? I would too. <laughs> and then the fish would jump out of the water and you can shoot it with a shotgun. <laughs> yeah. Students talk to a park ranger who explains to them that fish are mysteriously dying, and it's up to you to find out why. Lame. There was a really great game. I think it was called Real Life. 
Uh-huh. I don't remember. Um, I, I would have to look this thing up, but it's basically a game that I used to. I used to give this to my students back in the day and say like, "Hey, play this game," and then I would go like sit on the internet. Anyway, so you know like what a good teacher would do. But it was actually it was actually really good. Basically, it was this game where it it updates in real time online with actual legit populations and like birth stats and things like that. And you're born into the world, and it's like, you know, how every turn is a year of your life. And so you become a, a person in the world. And so it's like based on real stuff. So most of the time, people were born into like China and India, right? Because they are majority of where people are born. And, you know, because it's 50-50, sometimes you're a woman, sometimes you're, a, you know, a, a man. But the crazy thing is, depending on where you're born, uh, your life takes a drastic messed up turn. And it's a really great game because huh. if you're a girl in, say, India, you're kind of screwed when it comes for options, especially yeah. if you're like a lower caste or whatever. Or if, if, if you're born in like the middle of nowhere, Africa, you like it shows you can get you can go to like you can age and stuff and your parents can die. You can have brothers, you can have sisters, whatever. But in that, like each turn, something happens. And most of the time it will say like, hey, are you going to go to school? It's like, sure. OK. But for a lot of people, going to school is too much work, and they are better useful at, like, home or at a farm or whatever. So a lot of times people drop out of school or make sure maybe you have elementary school, but then there's no high school or anywhere in your area, so you just – you're done. And so you just live your life and go do other things, and you can – you can – go to different countries, like legally or uh, illegally. You can do all sorts of different things in the game. And uh, again, each turn is your life. And then um, there's like, because it's so real, real shit happens in this game. Like things that were really depressing. There was one where uh, like this, this guy, this, this kid in my class, he was born as a girl and he was like, whatever, I can do this. Literally at 13, he was like, sexually abused by everyone in his family like his entire life like went downhill from that he had emotional problems his character like couldn't get over that so everything was just like a spiral and then it was like you meet this guy and he's really into drugs what are you gonna do you know and so he's like well and it like gives you the pros and cons like the drugs will ease your pain and make it easier to cope but you know and it's like it was like whatever i'm coping and he just went like and he was like dead at 21 and then there was like one guy who lived to like be like 108 it was crazy but one of the crazy things was is that many times your character will just it'll like age a year and it's like you died of a heart attack like boom you're gone. So it's it's like real profound Aww. stuff. So your character is you're living this life and you get really attached cuz you know all these things are happening to your character and then just like that something horrible can happen. Like one time this girl this girl was playing this character literally at 8 while going to school got hit by a car and killed. <laughs> no. And, Turn eight. Turn, it's all random. Turn eight. This girl was killed. And I was like, I guess you can replay because it was literally five minutes into class. Me, I was like, that's messed up. It's a really cool game. Can we what find this game? game? I think it's called Real Life. Can See, just... I want to play that game and uh, just be that guy who's like, at 23, you hit a girl. She was eight years old on her way to school. <laughs> just be like, yeah, click. We need to find this game. And you can go to jail, and you can take loans, and you can save money, and you can buy land. Like, there's a million things you can do. It's just really, I think maybe it's real life, 2007, real lives, something like that. I think people are are saying they have it in chat. You're real making lives. it sound really, really uh, optimistic and happy. Real life. Well, turns out real life is not any of those things. Now there's some. <laughs> now there's some cases. Like one time I was born a guy in India, and at like 30 I moved to America, and I started a bakery and like made a. Sh metric shit ton of money and like had a great Spend life it. and a great and a great family like sometimes your playthroughs are really awesome other times oh it's second life that's what it is second life wait hold on no that's not what it is shut up that's, no, that's second that's, life that's, that's, second that's life. the that's the thing where the furries go and bang each other no that's yeah, totally that's weird <laughs> yeah. all thing that's, it's real lives real lives 2010 yeah. is what it is. yeah here it is yeah download it's called real lives 2010? Hold on. Yeah, if you download it... Oh, you I have to put in info? Okay, I'll do that later. What I happens, found it, though. If, yes. if you play... If, if you download it, you get three lives. And uh, that's the most you can do unless you buy the actual game. Or you work for a school or whatever. But then you actually have to, like, put money into it. But uh, you get three lives and you can try them out. But, again, sometimes your lives are awesome. And you can work your way through and 
save enough money and go to a country and like live a legit life. Uh, and and like like I said, I went to America, I became a baker, opened a bakery, had a huge like chain Aww. of bakeries, and I had this great life. Other times, I like uh, it, it makes you really feel bad for like the ladies in other countries because many of them it, like some countries are just like sorry, you're a girl, enjoy your life at home, <laughs> and the best the best hope you have is being like married to a rich guy, and so you can put points into what you want to do. And so when you're younger, you have more free time, so you have more time to do stuff like play outside or watch TV or read or study or listen to music. You have all these different options. But the older you get, the less time you have. So, you, so it gives you less and less options, which makes it harder and harder because then like, if you start working out less, you, you don't look as good. And if you, start, if you don't read as much, you become slightly dumber. Or if you watch too much TV, like, there's all these different things that happen to you. And one of the sad things is that it like, affects your stats. So when I was playing this girl, I was like, I need – I was this girl in China. I was like, I need to marry a rich man. <laughs> so I was like, I'm gonna look awesome, and I'm gonna work out constantly. I'm, gonna be, I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like be really smart. But then because I didn't know anything about cosmetics, <laughs> like none of the guys about me because I couldn't doll myself up all pretty. <laughs> Your oh, whore makeup, right? So apparently, there's all these different things you need to do. It's a crazy game. So, huh. I would recommend it if you wanna if you wanna see what's gonna happen to your your poor character's life. It's never good. <laughs> Go to I'm educationalsimulations.com. That's where the game is. Yes. I am really excited for this. I the best way to learn about life in other countries, short of going there. That's pretty great. Oh. Like how did you how did you find this when you were teaching? I was a teacher. It's my job. To I mean, what class was this? <laughs> Can I ask that? <laughs> History it was a history class. What other, what other class would it be? I don't know. <laughs> it was a history a class. A social justice class? I don't know. <laughs> it, sh it should be. I mean, how did you come across this? Were you just like, oh, this will teach the kids? When you, when yeah. you, when I mean, you when work, you're a teacher, you would look for educational Constantly. Things, right? Constantly yeah. you're looking for stuff, yeah. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when I'm a teacher, or when I was a teacher, I know... Uh -huh. you're constantly looking for things to avoid actual work. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Oh my god. Const no, you be because 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 kids nowadays, which I think is BS, BS. All the principals and everyone would say like kids nowadays, they can't be taught the normal way with just notes and paper. You have to really engage them bullshit. I'm not, I wasn't that much older than some of my students when I started teaching and let me just tell you I, nothing changed from when I was in high school to now. <laughs> they, they can't they can't focus no. No, that's just lazy talk. So I had to go out of my way to make the, like, everything had to be engaging. And it was just like, some days I just want to give you some notes and be like, take them. Take the notes. <laughs> take these notes. <laughs> Today uh, in class, we're going to be uh, pounding these notes into your head so that you remember them. <laughs> be sure to write down every single thing that I write up here I because the there will thing, be a test. The worst thing, like. Welcome to the Game Station podcast do. where we discuss <laughs> Jesse's personal. Yeah. Thing. Yeah, we occasionally talk about system. it. We were talking about a game. Yeah, we're really talking about a game. Uh, I think the worst thing people can do for, like, presentations is put, like, the PowerPoint up and then just read from the PowerPoint. Yeah. <laughs> that that actually is what killed me. Uh, Subtitles. When, when, I, when, I was, yeah, when I was a teacher, and I gave PowerPoint assignments to students. So, like, hey, one of the things I love to do, it's really sneaky. If you want to be an educator, do this. <laughs> Rather than do lessons like for the students, say, all right, this coming semester, we're going to have this, these lessons. You're going to teach to the class yep. <laughs> and you're going to do all this work. And so I you said that all the time. And so you'd be like, hey, you're going to do this, this and this. You need to do this, this. And I do that all the time. And so for like a week at a time, they would be teaching like lessons. And so like groups for the entire week, every day, that would be their lesson. And it was great. And they would focus on certain things. The problem is 90% of the time, most of the classes were like, this is what I found on Wikipedia and copied <laughs> verbatim. Like, sometimes, look, you're really dumb when it has, like, the, like, Wikipedia still, like, <laughs> next things. <laughs> Jesus. And I'd be like, guys, really? <laughs> really? Did you do that? And so, and so what happened was, of course, by the end of the semester, they know how to do it and everything's good. But at the beginning, it's always embarrassing. And so if I ever did a PowerPoint, I would only have, like, the, the bulletins and the headlines and everything else I would know like verbatim what I'm talking yeah, about because that's what you're supposed to do 
the, 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 the PowerPoint's visual stuff. So if you have like awesome pictures, like I would always play music. If you came into my class, there'd be music from that time period playing that day. And it would oh. freak them out because I'm in the inner city. So when you start teaching history to certain grade levels at like the 1700s and you're playing like 1700s style music, they're like, what is this shit? And it's like, listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> listen to it. You'll appreciate it. So and they're, good. They're, like, they're like, turn this off, Cox. I'm like, nope. You're going to love it. Let it sink in. Let it sink in. It was amazing. I had a blast. And then, of course, as you built up, eventually, you know, by the time they got to music, they actually knew. They were like, oh, okay, we get what you're trying to do. I'm like, thank you. It took a year. <laughs> by, the the year by the end of the year, by the end of the year, I was up. loved. I was a loved teacher. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to front. Not even going to pretend like I'm being humble about it. I was very good at my job. I believe that you'd be a good teacher. Yeah. I would be an awful I would, teacher. <laughs> I would never do it again Second. because it's, it's like the most stressful literally anyone who was a teacher or who is a teacher right now, you have my sympathy because it is not a fun job. It is the end when people graduate and you see them like walk across the stage. It's like a really great feeling, but the entire process of getting there is like pulling every tooth in a mouth. <laughs> it's just like, I can't. Oh my God. And it's bad because it's karma. I feel like it was karma because I was a really dickish student. <laughs> so... I did some things to my team. Like, I have some stories of when I was in high school. Do tell. I was, a, I was an asshole. And so I feel like this, that was my penance. A good three years teaching was, was penance for four years of high school. Love to hear I one of those stories. Uh, every time I was sent out in the hall, I would make, like, a show of it. <laughs> and so one time, my English teacher sent me out in the hall. And I made, like, this... There was people walking in the hall, and I would make up like stories of who they were, and I would yell it at the top of my lungs, in, like towards what? the classroom, and the class is cracking up. And so one time, I just like, I heard these high heels, and I was like, "Oh my!" And it was this lady, and it was the principal, who was a man, and he was super pissed. And he was like, "She's like Jesse, what are you doing? I'm like, having fun? I'm out in the hall. I'm not learning anything. Your teacher, I was a real asshole. It's like your teacher isn't teaching me anything. I'm out in the hall." If she cared, I'd be in the classroom. She'd be trying to reach me. She doesn't want to reach me. She wants to boot me. And he's like, Jesse, what'd you do? I was like, nothing. I didn't do anything. I was, a, I, was an, I was in a prime asshole. I was really bad. And I, yeah, I feel really bad. I, I went, I remember this like it was yesterday. One time I went back to my hometown and I went back into my school specifically to tell all my teachers I just wanted to apologize like I'm a teacher now I feel for you guys I am so sorry and Aww. the best part was is I went to one of the teachers classrooms this is how much school has changed since I like in the four years since I had like left and come back after college and stuff when I got my first teaching job I literally I walk into the building and I see one of the teachers and we're talking and like a security guard comes up and he's like, sir, who are you? And I'm like, what? And he's like, sir, do you have a pass to be here? I'm like, um, no, I came to see my teachers that just to say thank you. He's like, sir, uh, I'm going to take you to the office. I was like, whoa, wait, what? <laughs> do you think I'm here to like kidnap a kid? Whoa, hold on. They take me to the office and the secretary's there and she goes, Back in the office again, eh, Cox? <laughs> <laughs> and we started cracking up, and I was like, yep, this sounds about right. That's so I had to get, like, a pass, great. like, visitor. And then it was wonderful. So, uh, yeah. I got, a mil I got a million stories. I got a million stories. I like how everyone chats, like, I thought he was, like, 50. No, as we discussed on the, as we discussed at the podcast panel, I'm 54. He is. I have three kids that I know Obviously about. not a real fan. You don't yeah, know how obviously, old is. fifty. Yeah. I am clearly fifty. This is the face of a 50, 54 year old man. His stories were actually like in the hallway. He's like, "Oh, I do I tell him? Oh, there's a whole hair woman out here." Is that's <laughs> what? It's like nineteen fifties. <laughs> Whoa! What? <laughs> what? Or wait, fifty. Or wait, six. <laughs> I'm bet on, I math. failed math. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. He's doing math. Hold on. <laughs> Go on. Give him a I minute. I failed math. Like a lot. I so. like that your fifties are like oh right, crikey, oh right, right, right. how positively Darwinian. <laughs> oh, oh my God, no, I'm not fifty. You guys are idiots. Listen. It's called sarcasm, people. 
I was a good I actually 49. am 16. So there's that. It's getting Dodgers really... 16 <laughs> going on 28. <laughs> this is getting really creepy. Okay. So, uh, let's, move on. let's move on. Listen, I was a good student. I didn't talk back to teachers like Jesse. I just didn't try. So, <laughs> so if you're wondering why I have this new burst of energy, I'm super high on NyQuil. And then I got to start. <laughs> so now I'm now totally makes screwed. Sense. Yeah. Uh, All right. Freaking... Let's get I back just... on topic. Uh-huh. Back Where'd on topic. your top... big go? Uh, oh, no. Of... Wait, what are you talking that. about? Visitor of Villa. So, okay. Uh huh. Uh, I once threw my shoe at the gym teacher. <laughs> How'd that go? Was it during actual gym class, at least? Like, it was. It was the gym <laughs> yeah. class. It was just like walking down the hall. I was like, uh, I'm Why'd you, you do I was, it? I was a real bad. You... I was not a good student. I f like that. Uh, who is it? Swoozy? Who's the guy who does those videos of when he was in school? Oh, yeah, Swoozy. Mm hmm. Like his stories, I relate to them on every single level. Like oh, I feel like, like cheating stories and everything. Oh yeah, I feel like we're kindred spirits. Like he and I are like this when it comes to getting through school. I felt bad, so I, I literally had to go back and be like, "I'm look, I'm sorry, I am paying. I'm in my own hell right now, so I get it." Why did you throw the shoe at him? Did you just get like an urge to like? I, like, I got to throw this shoe at him right now. I don't quite remember. If I did, I'm sure it'd be a great story. <laughs> it's but, like I was, uh, I just, uh, took my shoe off and I was like, you know what would be a good idea? I'm just gonna throw it at him. And I did! <laughs> oh my god. I feel so, I literally feel like a horrible person just even remembering those stories. Like, I, that's why, that's why I've always said, like, you can always reach the young, the young children <laughs> and save them. I had a lot of teachers that, that changed me, that made me a better person and not a hoodlum. I could have been that, but instead I am a... You probably Cox, <laughs> comma, hoodlum. You probably drove Jesse that gym hoodlum. teacher to like madness. Like you throwing that shoe at him probably just like destroyed his life. So it's like, F it, I, I give up on this shit. No, Damn Mr. kids. No. <laughs> no. Pretty sure he's doing okay. Uh oh. Uh, anyway. Let's watch a trailer for a game. Yes, a great let's. game. Are we at that point already? Like, look, shut up about school, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you're going to have to stop talking, okay? This is my classroom. I, I, I make the rules. Listen, Jesse. Yeah, we need to talk about games because people... Oh, my God, just imagine. I'm pre-imagining the comments on the video on YouTube. <laughs> Holy crap. Listen, they should learn to expect this by now. If they haven't, then they obviously aren't very good at learning. And they should play Atlantis Remixed, which helps you learn. <laughs> Indeed. Okay. okay. We brought uh, it full circle. Let's watch an amazing trailer that I linked to you. It's called DuckTales Remastered. <laughs> and it is brilliant. Woo! Let's listen. Rated E for everyone. I wish it was here in the room. It was crazy. Just the Life is like a hurricane here in the duck bird. 
Wow. Yeah! What brilliance. Yay! So who's going to be playing DuckTales Remastered? This guy. Oh, yeah. This guy. <laughs> I'm I excited. Wait, did you actually watch DuckTales as a kid? Yeah. I did. All the time. Oh, my God. DuckTales was during that time where everything was Disney. So it was DuckTales. It was um, Tailspin. DuckTales. Group Tailspin, Tailspin. 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 so great. Uh, um, Darkwing Duck, yeah. I love Darkwing, Darkwing Duck was Duck. Duck. Darkwing Duck was just Batman, but they made all the characters done. <laughs> yeah. uh, yes, Gargoyles. Uh, Gargoyles. Gargoyles. Yes. Oh my gosh. I Rescue about Rangers was wonderful. Um, Rescue Rangers. Rangers. I loved. Then they started getting in a little crazy when they had like the Mighty Ducks. That was awful. <laughs> and um, Here yeah. come the Mighty Ducks. I remember Does watching the Aladdin show, show count as that generation? Aladdin was I wonderful, that. by the way. Aladdin was a great I watched show. That. Yeah. Gummy bears uh, was good. Gummy bears bouncing here and there, here and there, and there everywhere. There. I love that. But show. DuckTales was the best because of Scrooge and Huey, Dewey and Louie. And I guess all the other characters, but it was one <laughs> Launchpad. Launchpad who was in like every series. They're like, Launchpad "Hey, that cool. guy needs work." Everywhere. <laughs> he needs some work just like the LA women. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> mhm. Mm That's what they always say. Right? I always thought Tailspin was really weird. Like, I loved it, but I always thought the that it was strange. Makes no sense. I yeah, agree. that they were like, Why all right, we're going to take flying? all the characters we made for Jungle Book, and then we're going to just plop them into this world where they wear clothes and fly planes. Why is she caught an evil businessman? What? Why are the pirates wool or uh, foxes and wolves? It literally makes no sense. Doesn't matter. It was awesome. The one um, reason I kept watching Tailspin was because during the introduction sequence, the I already forgot his name, the kid bear had that sweet air glider thing that you just pull out yes. and like, press button and yeah. fan out, and he started like air surfing. And as a kid, I was like, "Holy crap! Yep. That's the coolest that's damn thing I've ever seen!" <laughs> so I watched every damn episode for him to pull out that stupid air glider. He never fucking does. <laughs> oh damn! There's some he repression felt coming in out heart. here. Oh. I, I that was a great show. I liked the pirates on that show because they had a big flying fortress of doom that I loved. Uh, Darkwing Duck was wonderful, just because Darkwing Duck is Batman but with duck powers, mm -hmm. and that right. is literally I, like I love it. I love all of it, and I'm excited the game's back. Uh, it's a great game. If you've never played the original, you should take the time to play this one. It's kind of fun. Yes, can't wait. It looks so good. And I love that way forward is the people doing it because they've done so many like just fantastic reimaginings of so many classic games. I don't know who else I would trust it with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes. Plus they got all the voices back. Like I was watching gameplay footage of like the opening thing uh, level or whatever. And they actually had like all the character voices and talking and stuff. And like it was almost a little emotional just having those voices come back and like yeah. really remembering my Nostalgia. childhood. I also think hey. it was brilliant turning the trailer into a sing along trailer. Yes. So I was yeah. like, this everyone is knows great. This. <laughs> even like, like this is a theme song that's even like before the time of so many gamers, they still know the song. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. kind of like Fresh Prince of Bel Air. Everyone knows that in DuckTales. Yep. <laughs> really, like, somebody should this? have mixed those together by now. Where's that right. mashup at? Oh, damn. Someone get on that. That would be awful. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> yes, that. <laughs> that exactly. That exactly. <laughs> we got you this. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, but, I mean... They're just gonna like remake all the nostalgia games now after this. They'll be like, what else can we well, remake for nostalgia? They said that like? if DuckTales do, does well enough, Capcom will look at their other old Disney games and possibly remake or do some of I'd those. So, like, they can totally bring back Chippendale's cool Rescue Rangers back. Those games were kick ass. Yeah. I don't know. Oh a lot my god. Oh my god. Do you guys remember that one game that Capcom used to make? Um, uh, Mega Man? Oh my god. Wouldn't it be amazing if they remade that? <laughs> What's this cartoon theme song like? I once Super was a character robot. that was awesome. Mega Man! <laughs> Super fighting now robot! Mega no Man! Cares about. <laughs> Wait, they still make I wish Mega I had Man another games? another game, but Wait, no, no I, I won't get one, because I'm garbage. <laughs> <laughs> That's like I'm polishing a bowling ball. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, polishing yes. a bowling ball. Mega Man <laughs> oh, polishes a bowling ball. Mega Man polishes a bowling ball. That's my song. 
I, I still like remember. Oh, Where's the T-Pain mic? Come on. Yeah. Downstairs. Look, I'm sick. <laughs> I can't be asked. Literally, uh, by I'm moving, I get lightheaded. <laughs> it's the pox packs. I'm sorry. Every time I go to uh, uh, pox, the packs. Pox you know packs. I mean. Got a whole pox, pox, pox of packs. Pox, I know a pox. lot of people who came back with the packs pox. So I have issues. I just like I the Mega Man sound where he charges up his thing and it's all like. <laughs> 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 It's so great. Whoever invented that noise deserves like a million dollars. I found out that my roommate used to have a a speed run high score for Mega Man 3 back in the day. And I was like, what? And then I watched him play it and it was legit. <laughs> he like fucking blasted through that game. I was like, damn. It's pretty cool. His life mission. He's yeah, man. accomplishing it. I <laughs> love the music in Mega Man 3, by the way. Everything about Mega Man 3's music is wonderful. Absolutely. So, yeah. Mega Man 2 is also one of my favorites. I remember playing Mega Man 2 in an after-school thing that my parents put me because they didn't want to deal with me. <laughs> Just put them in the after-school program. <laughs> that they were at work, but I tend to believe it was more devious. <laughs> like, That's also very how I malicious. got my video games. My parents were like, I don't want to deal with you. Just fucking here. Just whatever. Do with it. <laughs> Wait. I remember Mega Man X, uh, the first one I loved because I liked how it was like cool and new and they're like animal robots. But then yeah. after that, it was just like, it's the more of the same. Yay. What's <laughs> the one that had the Dr. Wily theme in it? It's like, do, 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 It's Mega Man 2. Oh, yeah. It's Mega Man 2. That's, isn't that the first stage of Dr. Wily's? Yeah. Yeah. That's like the most yeah. popular Mega Man song. I don't know. I like uh, the, the, the intro. Um, is that the one that I'm thinking of when you the character selection screen from uh, three? I want maybe that. Maybe I've got like 80 different character select screens like mashed up in my head right now, and I can't differentiate them anymore. I know they had the ones like. That's when you select the character. That's when you select the character. Oh. I thought that's what you were saying. No, on the characters, well, while you're choosing, and it has all the different robots in the boxes, oh. it's, it's like, it's like, it plays that song. And now I have, uh, now I can't remember what it is. <laughs> Welcome to the Game Station podcast, where we acapella Mega Man songs for 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody who hasn't seen it before should go watch Mega Man Gets Played. I play role in it. You should go watch it. If anyone great. wants to actually have fun, you should go look up the rock remixes of the Mega Man themes because they're wonderful. Look up uh, "Passing of the Blue Crown." I think that's it. <laughs> it's an epic. It's an epic rock remix of that uh, uh, character selection screen. It's wonderful. I think if you really want to have fun, you should watch the Rock of Ages. That's <laughs> what you should do. It's true. Yes. <laughs> All right. Let's take a break. <laughs> oh, wait, hey, if you if you want to take a break, are you taking are we taking a break yet? Have we uh, left? Have we left? No. Okay, good. While everyone's here, take two minutes, three minutes to go watch the new Cox and Crendor on Cox and oh. Crendor. Oh, YouTube.com slash Cox in with an N Crendor. Go now. Go not, now and watch it. Feel free to like spam not link it in, in the chat. Not like Cox is in oh, Crendor, like no just an N. <laughs> I think I don't not think that's anyway. really interesting. <laughs> I don't think you had to verify that. <laughs> uh, they're going to show up for Cox and Crendor and get really disappointed. Feel free to link it in the chat for like 10 seconds or whatever. All right. We will, I, I will do that right now. I, there it is. All right. Go watch it, everybody. Have fun. Have fun. We'll be back. And we're back. Let me just say, I Hi. watched that during the break. And it may <laughs> have been the greatest thing I've ever seen. That was so hard. Every time I heard you guys try to pronounce that word, I was like, no, how is it possible that they have never heard this word before? Acetaminophen, oh, I, look, it doesn't look like how it's spelled. It doesn't. Acetophamophen sounds, sounds, no! <laughs> sounds like a real thing. <laughs> Acetophamophen. Like, there's gonna be a what? There's gonna be a point near the end of this video where one of them just nails it and says it perfectly. And it never we just we just gave up. We gave up on pronouncing words a long time ago. 
<laughs> I hope hopefully there'll be an episode about the word scars. <laughs> there has to be. Red door's like it was like it's very scars. And I'm like, what the hell is scars? Oh, like scares? <laughs> yeah. Yes. And so we have like a 25 minute conversation. <laughs> About a scar, which is some neck garment that you wear. But who <laughs> my scars? But people in Australia said they sometimes say scar. In Australia, ah. they probably. No. No. <laughs> it's 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 not like aluminum and aluminium. No, it's not like that at all. <laughs> there is no such thing as scars. I think my favorite mispronunciation of a word is when people try to say banal and they say banal. I love it. It is the funniest thing banal. to me. I don't know what either banal. of those mean. It's really banal. You should look it up. <laughs> I, I used to be a n a l. It's spelled like anal with a b at the beginning, which is why people pronounce it incorrectly. I used to be in a guild with a guy in WoW who would pronounce everything really weird. And one of my favorite things he would say is every time we went into Stratholme, he would always say, "Watch out for the cadavers." We're like, what the fuck is a cadaver? And we only then knew when he meant cadaver. <laughs> cadaver. <laughs> 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 that has to be intentional. He, we finally called him Watch out, out on for it. the cat of ass, pilgrims. He totally, he was like, I did not know that was how it was pronounced. I was like, that is amazing. That's like listening to cat Thomas on your Minecraft videos. I'll just like <laughs> randomly say something and be like, what, what is wrong with that? <laughs> I like to eat the long foot. <laughs> It's like, you mean a foot long? Like a hot dog? Yeah. Long, the long foot? <laughs> oh, foreign that people. That's still one of my favorite episodes ever. <laughs> he likes to eat the long foot. <laughs> What's that going to mean? Uh, anyway. Uh, welcome back to the TGS podcast. Welcome where we back. We talk about video games. Very occasionally. Very Look, rarely. When Crendor's in charge, we get to talk about the Cox and Crendor podcast. Yeah. I'm sorry. Just, just the way it goes. TV talks about his things, like Planet Side 2. Yeah, that's oh, true. Planet Side 2 is the best game I've ever seen in my life. See? Oh, yeah, TB, what's your favorite part of Planet Side 2? Oh, uh, Planet Side 2, my favorite part is the, is the planets, so you choose a side, and then uh, mm. it's the second one, so obviously. Is better than the first one. Unless Two is always better than one, yeah. yeah it's right. really greater than the sums, you know. <laughs> but what do you think about like the gameplay? Oh, I think that uh, the gameplay. Uh, I play Crendor in Blood Bowl this week, and he's <laughs> gonna destroy me. It's just, it's, yeah. Oh. Wow, that he's was great. He's really bad at answering my questions. He is. He's just dancing around the subject. I know. It's like he doesn't even. It's like he doesn't even play the game. I know. I couldn't even tell the difference. Does Does he not play any of the games? Wouldn't that be a great turn of events? He actually has never played a game. <laughs> never. <laughs> I want that to happen just one day. It's just like, I've never played a game in There's my life. There's a universe. <laughs> there are just billions of universes out there. Alternate dimensions, guys. And there's one where TV is running this podcast and hates video games and doesn't play any of them. Mm -hmm. And the entire podcast is only talking about video games. Mm -hmm. Whoa. So he's way Whoa. out of place. So it's not occasional. <coughs> oh, oh no. Are you are you are you dying? This... TB from another dimension is choking me from the inside. <laughs> oh god. He's this big. He's this big and he's come here to kill me. It's world be world. Dimensions uh, are against each other. Myself, I guess. Oh my god, that kid in the live podcast thing where he was just like, "Why are you mean to Jesse Cox?" That's the, the greatest best thing. Ending <laughs> anything really ever. It really was. I want to know why he got his black eye, though. If you're Actually, watching right now, I think you're adorable. on the video. You know, here's here's the crazy thing. So a few days, this is actually totally legit and true. A few days before that, before uh, PAX, I got a tweet from a dad who said, hey, my son hurt himself and he feels really bad. And I was hoping maybe you could cheer him up. And so I rarely like tweet back like, hey, hang in there. But I but I did. And it turned out it was that kid. Oh, Aww. and so I have never I was like, it's perfect. Saw the good feels. Synchronicity. It's all those universes coming together. Yeah, man. Yeah, because a TV lot of times I'll be well. Because I get so many tweets that I kind of miss most of them. And this is one that I just happened to see. And I was like, sure. OK. 
Aww. I guess I guess he fell or something. I don't know what happened, but his dad tweeted me and he was really sad because he had a big black eye. And I was like, I'll tweet back at him and make him feel better. Yeah. And that's awesome. Yeah. And then he sh- then he showed up and I was like, it's all coming together. I didn't realize yeah. it because even, even I was wondering, like, how did I get his black eye? And then afterwards when we were in line, like, signing stuff for people, he, the dad told me. And I was like, it's you. And I was like, <laughs> this is, it was Aww. wonderful. TGS podcast bringing – cheerful bring it, happy bring moments families together <laughs> to no that kid that kid brought the happiest moment yeah he was yeah. so cute that was wonderful it was fun so, that was a great panel thumbs up that dude was awesome anyway let's talk about a video game all right <laughs> what what did you don't just... worry about it guys <laughs> <laughs> were you just really excited or were you doing something i know else? what that was, was i clapping. killed a fly just now <laughs> Wow! <laughs> wow, you're like a stone cold. That was like a you're like Mr. Miyagi. Cold. You're like Mr. Gish, Miyagi. Gish, gish, gish. It's like to catch the fly. Yellow model chick. Yellow model sipping. Yellow Lamborghini. Yellow top missing. No. No, keep going. Keep Fine, going. Let's good. move on. No, no we're not. I'm we're not gonna keep going. All right, I'm let's talk about a video game. My lips are still chapped and my face hurts. No, shut up. Okay, so we're talking about a video game. Someone bring up a video game. League of Warcraft Online. Man, I don't. I don't know many video games. League of Warcraft Online Three X. Yeah, that's a good game. Warcraft Earth. War planets. TB, how do you feel about League of Warcraft Online 3? League of Warcraft Online 3 is mm. probably the shittiest game I've ever played in my life. I've actually seen uh, piles of shit that are better than this game. Okay, uh, so you're not you're not a fan of the graphics then? No, I'm not a fan of just everything in the game. It's it's kind of like Jesse's content. <laughs> Can we talk about something that's important? Something I feel like should be discussed? Yes. Yes. Kotaku. WTF? What happened Dude, to you? Oh, yeah. I am so oh, sick. Oh, the new redesign? Yes. I'm so sick what of what's like redesigning for cross-platform because that's obviously why they did it. It's so hard to scroll. Like, I don't go to Kotaku very often, but I went there like immediately after they switched over and I was like, what is this? It was awful. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of the whole, like, we'll just scroll through it and uh, no, no, giant ass pictures. It's the same problem. I can't tell where the actual like story regarding what article, like once you get down so far, it all starts to blend together. And because most Kotaku articles eventually end up the same way, I'm like, what am I reading? I don't know anymore. (laughs) Yeah. Oh and there's no side, just there's so... no side scroll, so I can't skip all the BS on the main. Oh God, Kotaku! What are you doing? I think the way that they tried to fix that was when you type in to go to Kotaku, they automatically send you to like their featured or recommended, so like all the stuff that they think is important. But <sighs> it's like on a what do you call it? Like Apple stuff, like iPhones. It's like yeah. they changed the app store. It's all like you got to scroll through one by one. It's like, I like the old one where I saw everything. Yeah. It's like, why are you limiting my options of viewing things? Very silly. Very Stupid. Silly. Not, a, not a fan. Not a fan of that. But you know what? I just don't go to the site, so I really don't it's, get bothered uh, that it's much. It's kind of like the YouTube One channel where... It's our channels. We're all individual snowflakes. We're all individual snowflakes because our content's so unique. And if you step back a little bit, we all look the same. That's my favorite comment. That's, a, that's an amazing. That's an amazing <laughs> video. I don't know if anyone see that animation. I yep. do not remember his name, but like he is dead is on. Pirate? Yep. Oh, that's who it is. Yes, <laughs> dead oh, on. Pirate so much. What an amazing like that video single handedly describes YouTube. It's wonderful. I saw another one where he's like, wow, YouTube's changing it again. And he's just like, click the subscribe button. He clicks it and it's like it randomizes and it just starts going yeah. like a slot machine. Love- <laughs> that one's so good. He's just like going through all the channel names. He's like, what's happening? He's like, channel subscribing's random now. It just like lands on I Justine. And it's just like, you've oh, been you subscribed. Got Justine. Nice. <laughs> that was the rubber ninja animation. Yeah. Like the part where it's like, uh, it's like, all oh, the comments are audio now. Yeah. See people yelling, this is gay. Show us the truth. He's just like, can I turn it off? No. 
<laughs> it's actually really uh, one of the things I thought was funny is over the weekend I was, I was like catching up on uh, over the weekend I mean by Monday I was catching up on all the old shows that I had missed over the last like few days and it's really funny to me how more and more comedians are making jokes regarding YouTube comments like even they are at the point where it's like YouTube comments are the purest form of evil. <laughs> really I was like, are. that's amazing. Accurate. Oh, man. Yeah. Why don't... It's like YouTube doesn't understand. It's like they don't even understand what they're doing. They're just like on this like power trip of like, we can make whatever we want, and it's just like work of ah, art, man. They don't get it. You know what they are? They're an asset of Mofotin. Yeah, they are. They don't understand. You're a bunch of asset of Mofotins. It's like, why can't... They're like, here's the idea. We want to like make it so all the different channels can have like uh, one thing, so it looks cool on all of them. It's like, why don't you just let us customize each individual one? Like, let us customize the mobile one separately from like the computer one, and then like the TV. Or just like, let's do that. Trust us to make ourselves look cool. Yeah. We can do this. <laughs> Please. We've been doing this for a while. So. <laughs> It's like it's all good. Don't worry. They're gonna force us over to it soon. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just like not what? looking forward to that. Apparently, people that have switched as well have like lost views, like because of the it. channel page doesn't autoplay a video. That sucks. I think it does now, but you know, whatever. Oh, they learned. Well, that was already <laughs> a problem when just the homepage got changed over. Yeah. Well, it's still like a problem because people like are like I just want to see my subscriptions. They're like, are you sure you don't want to watch? No, uh, you don't. Worldwide you Chicken Federation because you clicked on a video about chickens from your friend. This Although you like, should go watch Worldwide Chicken Federation. You Fantastic should. Fantastic video. It's brilliant. The Chicken Federation. It's really not an actual is. video. Don't go searching on YouTube for World Chicken Federation. Our lawyers say that Worldwide Chicken Federation is not an actual video. You're gonna have to not do that disclaimer included. <laughs> responsible for the. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, let's see. Is there any other? Oh, we can talk about gaming releases. Okay. Yes, talk... please do. <laughs> All right. So with like March pretty much being done, what's coming out in April that's worthwhile? Because I kind of lost track. This is a, a, a sincere question because I don't remember. Yes. Uh, I don't really know. Hold on. I gotta go to this. I'm one. really bad at keeping up with that stuff. I know. I... There's yeah. uh, Injustice. Mm -hmm. There's some other games. <laughs> yeah, I know Injustice is coming out. Age of, Age of Empires 2 HD. Oh, yeah. I'm, look, yeah. I'm just looking at the chat. Like, <laughs> yeah, on, guys. they'll help us better than anyone else. Out. There we go. Um, I really want that game. Science. That's another remade game. They're like, we're going to Fire Emblem it. in Europe. So if Last you're of Us is out there, coming out go get. No, Last of Us is June. Uh, I was gonna say, you're in Europe. Go get Fire Emblem for the 3DS. Fantastic game. There's Dragon's Dogma Dark oh, Arisen. Demo, though. Oh, yeah. I think the demo is out for that. Uh, Star Trek the video game. Uh. <laughs> uh, Dead Island Riptide. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Dr. Kawashima's Devilish Brain Training. Can you stay focused for the 3DS? Hmm. Apparently okay. not. <laughs> not long enough to get to that title. <laughs> hey oh. Uh, Do Dr. Kurosawa's brain devil manipulation training. Brain devil. <laughs> brain devil. <laughs> brain devil. <laughs> Wait, whoa, hold on. Gun dog? What uh -huh. is that? With a gun W dog? or like, just DFG? No, <laughs> capital G-O-N D O G, -D -O -G <laughs> exclamation dog. point. It would have been the best. It is a team based third person shooter with card collection elements. Oh my. Oh, right. Damn. Okay. Gun Dog. Oh my god, there's a trailer. All right, we got to watch this. Okay. Watch it now. I'm linking it. I'm linking it. We're going to watch this trailer. This is this is amazing. And the okay, beta so starts April 4th through the 8th. Oh my god. All right. Are okay. you ready? Yes. We're going to do this. Uh, okay. Here Gun we go. Dog. Well, I don't know what I was expecting. 
Whoa. What? <laughs> it's Gundog. So, I'm signing up for the beta immediately. <laughs> wow. What, I don't know how to describe what that was. What a brilliant uh, thing. Those that were happened. dogs with guns? Yeah, it was exactly and then they opened up what a we booster were told pack. it was going to it be. Gun dogs. Who trained a dog to use a gun? <laughs> a told team of dogs. It's the Animal World War, Jesse. Were you watching the trailer? The military industrial complex, duh. Hmm. I feel like this is a game that we all have to play. Mm-hmm. It's yes. like no going back from it now. We will be gun dogs. We will. Oh my god, this is I hope I get the rarest of the gun dogs. I know. I'm regis I'm registering right now, but <laughs> Me too. <laughs> like okay, I'm gonna like look through this trailer again. Because I wanna see what they're promoting in this. Change classes on the fly, okay. Oh, my name doesn't fit. Did you try uh, all your names? I tried. I tried press R2. Can't it has to be 16. It's dumb. I don't get why you collect cards. I guess that unlocks guns. Is that I guess that's your way of unlocking guns. It's a free to play game. As well. I think the cards are just placeholders for like what your class is and then you drag and drop weapons and then the weapon is on the card as like oh i see oh, and because it's free to play there's going to be a ton of dlc and purchasable things cards yeah cards <laughs> we'll be able to buy all the cards by the way you know if hearthstone was starring dogs i would play that that's true if that's all World of Warcraft, they should have made it with Worgen. Yes. Right. You successfully registered. <laughs> that's what's up. It's going places. Done. Anyway. The best something... part, that company is going to see just like suddenly a huge <laughs> yeah. of, like, views on their video. And they're just going to be like, what the hell happened? This is going to be <laughs> huge. <laughs> Guys, we did it. <laughs> How YouTube is crazy. This is insane. I don't. Oh. By the way. I can't believe I just gave them my information. <laughs> I can. I can. I'm, I am. I am not looking forward to the messages I'm gonna get from them. <laughs> what, what did you do? What? What happened? <laughs> uh, if you take a look at this, somebody Chibi Warmonger drew a sponge dodger. I saw, and it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what a marvelous drawing. I like Jesse as Patrick. Mm -hmm. That looks really good. I think I think Gary wound up not being you and instead being Sherlock Cat, which I'm okay with. That's yeah. fine. Sherlock I'm Cat, look, that. look, look. <laughs> it's, it, it's better. It's better. Yeah. Okay. I agree. It is better. Although Dodger's character should need some, what is that? Clearasil? Some Noxzema? <laughs> Noxzema? <Is> that, <laughs> some big ass zits. Some NyQuil? I know. I need, some, I need something. You need, yeah, you need, what's it called? What's that stuff Jessica Simpson uses? Oh, the, uh, proactive. Oh, proactive. proactive. You need, yes. You need some proactive in your life. I, re I realize those are sponges, but whatever. Yeah. It's, you have, it's the super <laughs> Now that we've all this. signed up for Gundog, are we going to have a Gundog League? Obviously. Yes. Oh my God, we should. <laughs> Obviously have one. Ask me a Gundog League. Definitely. Uh, anyway. This is the beginning, guys. <laughs> this is the beginning of the great. end. Beginning of the end. <laughs> Uh, We're going to make Gundog the most successful game of 2013. We Absolutely. are. Absolutely. I like that all the death sounds are the exact same. <laughs> Doesn't matter how you die, it's like, ah! It should be like barking, like, woo, 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 Let's, uh, let's uh, start ending this. Ah! <laughs> anyway, uh, Let's start with Pro Jared. Pro Jared, what are you doing this week on your channel and stuff like that? What do you do? Where can we find you? 
you can find my channel at youtube.com slash DM Jared or just YouTube search pro Jared. But uh, currently, for all of my love of Monster Hunter, I am continuing the uh, beginner's guide to Monster Hunter as a lot of my enthusiasm for Monster Hunter has caused a lot of people to go out and get the game, which is awesome because the game nice. is fantastic. But they're all so new to it that I'm creating a three-part beginner's guide to Monster Hunter to actually help teach you how to play Not and get right. you through that. And uh, you can also expect uh, more reviews for at least Bioshock Infinite and then hopefully eventually... Maybe Army of Two and Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. <laughs> what are all Aww. your social network Aww. things? Uh, social network stuff is all obvious. Twitter.com slash pro Jared. Facebook.com slash pro dot Jared. Oh. oh That's Susan. not too obvious. Pro Jared. Pro <laughs> Jared. <laughs> pro! Uh, Dodger, how you doing? I'm downloading real lives. I'm sorry. <laughs> I needed to make sure that all of this happened. Downloaded. I made you a video about that. <laughs> yes. Every, everyone here has to make a video on it. It's yes. law. Um, well, I am leaving again tomorrow for Angland. So um, there isn't going to be any of the any of the like focused special stuff. But I am going to be vlogging while I'm in England. So that should be fun. You'll see lots of me and happily Aaron and Jesse doing whatever the butts we're going to be doing. Mm -hmm. And that should be super fun. Drinkin'. And uh, <laughs> drinking. Tea is what I mean. Tea. Obviously. And crumpets. Mm -hmm. You could drink crumpets, right? <laughs> yeah. I want to I I go learn how to drink tea properly. I always imagine it's like Just this. Take a Woo! class. <laughs> I want do you, they have uh, classes? Will they offer classes for Americans? And then you use your muscles to swallow the liquid. It can oh. be like a super like cynical, sarcastic class where it's just like, since you're all bloody stupid, we'll teach you <laughs> how to drink tea properly. No, 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 no. They would speak with the Queen's English. Uh, they would have a very proper accent, obviously. Also, uh, I need um, to get I need to get some type of mead, some type of fish and chips, uh, beans and toast. I need um beans and toast. I want to try oh, that so bad. I've never I'm the woman of ill repute. Oh, oh get... uh, women of ill repute. I'm, I'm on the oh, <laughs> hey, Um, but yes. Yeah. So Darwinian. <laughs> positively Darwinian. So I'll be in England doing all of that. But uh, yesterday I put up my Blood Bowl game with Side Strafe. If you're still following Blood Bowl. And uh, the next person that I play is the completionist, and that will be the end of the stuff before semifinals. So we're still possibly going to be able to get into semifinals. So let's do it. Let's focus. You got and this. Uh, yeah, I don't think that there's really anything else to to talk about right now. When I get back, when I get back from England, I promise. We're gonna get back on track. It's been it's been a weird month. There's been uh, nothing super <sighs> put together happening. Where but. can we find you on the internet? YouTube.com slash pressheart to continue is my YouTube channel for games. And then youtube.com slash dexterity bonus is my YouTube channel for vlogs. And uh, my Twitter is at DexBonus, D-E-X-B-O-N-U-S. So come hang out with me. I tweet pictures of my cat sometimes. Wonderful. The end. Wonderful. Uh, Jesse, hey. <laughs> Hi, Hi Jesse. I'm, I'm going to England as well. Uh, Yay! We'll be in London for a few days, but we're going to travel around. So I think at some point we'll hit the Hobbit pub. Oh, dang. Yes. Oh, my gosh. I want that so bad. So I feel like if there's going to be a meetup somewhere, that's probably where it will be. Uh, and that will be fun. And other than that, uh, GemuCon is the 5th through 7th. And that's where we were. That's our eventual destination, which is that's in Nottingham. That's where we're going. <laughs> is that your final yeah. destination? It is. It is my final destination. And so that's where we'll be at. Are they? I think they're sold out. I don't think you'd be able final to get it. Oh, yes. Oh, they're spots only. They are definitely sold out, and uh, they they already are like, we have to do a bigger place next year. I'm like, probably. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. And uh, I don't know. I guess that's – I'm going to try and get as many videos done before I leave as possible, but I don't know if it's going to happen. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Rendor, what also, are you doing? Also, there's no conspiracy. <laughs> None. 
don't worry. Once Jesse gets back from England, then we can actually <laughs> make podcasts again. Yeah, I'm Yay. sorry. I just don't have any time. I, I really love podcasts, but I just don't have the time for it. I love you. I just have no time. Like I'm from sorry. from when we started in like November until like January, we were rolling because there's nothing to do. But now things happened. <laughs> yeah. So. And now. Anyway, uh, what am I doing? I am playing League of Legends stuff. I just put up a video right before this happened called. Oh, saps. Uh, it's a video on the new Hearthstone game in World of Warcraft. Nice. It's quite humorous, and you can check it out at youtube.com slash wildcrandor. I also am Let's Playing WoW. That's fun. I'm level 24 now, and people are still yelling at me like, why aren't you leveling faster? I'm like, it's, I'm not trying to level fast. I'm trying to enjoy the quests and things and stuff. Word. That's what I'm trying to do. And then, uh, I'm playing Scribble Knot still. That game's fun. And... Uh, what else? Oh yeah, I made a new channel. It's called Good Night Crendor. It's where I help people fall asleep. <laughs> you and Luca should do a collaboration. <laughs> oh yeah. Luca has a channel like that. Like, my video has like an amazing amount of likes as well. And there's just comments like, I didn't even make it through this video. I just fell asleep. I fell, fell right to sleep, man. It's like, so, oh, wait. You forgot to ask me about my social stuff, Crendor. Everybody knows. <laughs> do they do they know to go to injustice.dccomics.com? Where I was just about vote? okay. Wait, I was just about to say, go vote for the Flash. I want the Flash to beat Batman so badly. <laughs> go vote for the no Flash. Way. No way, Batman's being it's gonna be Batman versus Superman in the end. That no, that is so obvious. I'm gonna be so angry. Make Flash beat Batman. I want that. I'm, Damn I want it. that. It's not gonna happen. <laughs> So angry. More than Flash. Also, Jesse Cox on on Twitter. Go there. Go vote for Flash. I'm Flash. I'm so angry. I'm so, angry. Uh, I'm so angry. It's gonna be Batman. Did you know Superman. there's like this entire community called ASMR, and it's like, it's these. If you YouTube ASMR, there's like people that do like sounds. Like this is a big sleep thing because people are like, "Are you doing an ASMR channel?" I was like, "What?" And it's like, "What?" Like for example, like I could do this sound. Oh, just repetitive noises to help people yeah. fall asleep. Like there's just repetitive noises like that, or like like things just like. Weird I'm noise. gonna make a channel called Jesse Cox does sounds of the beach. That's the full name of the channel. It's me like. <laughs> you just mix the sample noises of it up every video. It's like the same things. <laughs> Oh my god, there's like role plays. Like there's the one this one chick role played like a zombie invasion or something and she's just what? like like look up ASMR you're zombie. To that? People do. They're just like I found this so relaxing and she's just like hello, I found Mark outside. He's gone. I couldn't save him. And it's just like it's so what? random. Like just look up ASMR zombie and okay, you'll find it. There's also one like you're on a spaceship and it's the year like 2111 <laughs> and you're like traveling to like inter intergalactic space and it's just like amazing. Is there one more on a beach and there's a man <laughs> going. <laughs> no, I think you can fill that. You can fill that one. There's one with an Thanks. old guy with a beard. It's just like this giant beard and he's like pretending he's a radio host. And he's like, hello, little lovebirds. We're back today with another episode it's amazing i want to do that anyway and it's just him going uh, it's 25 uh, minutes of uh, that 25 can, minutes oh somebody <laughs> should have asmr grudge where it's just somebody going uh, <laughs> uh just constantly there probably is that yeah. I wouldn't you doubt take it. your blanket and you pull it up and just snuggle over and just but you're but uh, you're not safe in your bed that's what i always hated about grudge those no. things wind up in your bed with you. You are safe nowhere. <laughs> uh, Everyone all right. the podcast is now we've, we've hit, <laughs> Everyone's asleep. We've hit Wake a new up. low. And we're done. We're done. Any last words? Any last words? We, uh, this is the last podcast for a week. So we won't be here next week. So yeah. um, uh, 
Thanks we for joining us on the special that. 50th episode of the Game Station. Yeah. Yeah. This is definitely Yay. special. Woo. I'm the only one who kept my hat on, and I think that I deserve a thumbs up. My headband was getting itchy, and the joke was over. Yeah, exactly. That My wig was cutting off circulation in my brain. So, I was... I can't move any further than this. <sighs> Thank Jessie. you. Jessie. Thank you. Perfect. Do you have anything you could put on your head laying around? We have to do a thumbs up at the end with hats on. Jesse, come on. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Ready? Three, two. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Can I end this? All right. I'm going to end it. Okay. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for watching. <laughs>